What's up, Justin? I cut the intro run short so I could see you. Um, oh yes, Tidley. Um, I already popped your history out. Um, you uh, you literally came in, con- uh, accused everybody of being conservative, then commies, then liberals, and then uh, uh, then you tried to uh, downshift to uh, oh, well, I'm partly uh, partially libertarian. Um, yes. See, here's the thing. We get, uh, we get permanent chat logs as streamers. So I get to look up exactly what the fuck you have said in this channel in the past. Um, and then you started to go on uh, a, ra- a tirade about uh, woke scolding. So, like, yeah, bruh. And, and then you try to logic debate us like Ben Shapiro. Either way. Justin, how'd your stream go, my man? What'd you get up to? What'd you guys do? Um, and thanks for the raid, Justin. Yeah, I, I, I adore people like that. That Like, oh, you know, yeah. Glazy, Glazy, Glazy's a lib, lib cubed. <clears throat> and then tried to make the statement that Obama was the worst president the United States has ever had. Um, let's see, what else we got? Um, tried to, def- oh, tried to get into the Bible stuff as well. Um, then started sexualizing AOC. Um, then of course did the Christian victimhood. Um, so we switched gears and started talking about Islam. Um, and he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't find that appropriate. So, you know, he started, well, what's next? Hate the Jews too. Um, yes. So, exactly. Um, so, fuck all the way off is what you're saying, guy? I mean, hey. I mean, he can, he can, whatever he wants. I don't care. <coughs> um, let's see. Oh, I I love this. Oh, I remember this stream. He was here yesterday. He was literally here fucking yesterday. Oh man, I fu- I remember this stream. Yeah, you were here yesterday, bro. He's the one who came in and said super uh, super califragile uh, expialidocious, like he spelled it completely wrong. Um, and then, um, thought, oh, I thought we were discussing law words, um, strawberry patch that somehow sounds dirty or maybe just my mind. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He was here literally yesterday. So he's a thinker anyway. Boot leather flavored vodka. Hey, tech support. Um, Folks here from Justin, one final and very important point that uh, about that Israel study equals survivorship bias. We, what'd you guys get into? Sounds like you guys were touching, touching some hot ones. You're never sober, man. You're drunk all the time. Like literally you got a problem. You, um, the, the second to last time you were in here, you literally walked in the room. You said, oh, hi, I'm, I'm here guys. This is going to sound gross. Do you ever drink too much beer and get mud butt? That's, that's, dude, you're drunk every time you come here. Like, I'd love to sober up and debate this guy. Bro, you'd have to sober up first. When's the last time that happened? Um... Like... Fucking genius. Anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Um, <clears throat> Radical Maniac is having a hard time. Pupper not doing too good. Oh, I'm so, that sucks. Um, 
Skeptic, my day actually went well. Um, hang on, I have to check something. Okay. My day went, um, okay, so... Do we, do we wanna, do we wanna do a Kai story time? Um... Do we, do we want to do a, a Kai D-Gen story time? Um, cause I'll move us over to just, um, and we can do that if we want. Um, so I had a trial tonight. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, you don't get to just walk into a Dom's place. Um, dominant submissive. We're talking sexy times here, folks. You don't get to just walk into a dom's place and, like, be there. Right? You gotta earn it. You gotta earn your keep. Um, no, Justin. We're going, we're going other ways. Um, though if you want a court story, we can get Marcus up in here and we can get a, get a warrior court story out of him. Um, So, yeah, anyway, um, Exel, it's actually, uh, it's fairly common psychologically for people who, um, de uh, who deal with a power dynamic on a daily basis to seek out the alternative. Um, Fortune 500 CEOs and politicians infamously visit dominatri uh, dominatrixes and do uh, doms in general um, because it's the flip side. You're attempting to achieve homeostasis or, or psychological balance of sorts. It's a super common phenomenon. And so, of course, the anarchist who talks about that sort of, okay, you can fill in the gaps there, right? Um, and it's a great vacation. I don't know if you've ever subbed. Right, like I don't know how many of you have experience in this realm, but there is a thing called subspace. Right, you get to take a vacation. Um, the endorphins, the dopamine, uh, and um, the uh, the adrenaline kick in, and it just sort of floods, and you get into a sort of pseudo hypnotic state. It's very um, pleasant to be in so imagine you know i mean individual um the anarchism requires individual autonomy it requires decision making it requires inter uh, integrate uh, integrating yourself into various power dynamics and setting up the free associative relationships right this is work this is fucking work so imagine that i can go in find somebody i trust right and say just you decide just you 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 right it's a fucking vacation for your brain <clears throat> so finding a dom that you are compatible with is in a lot of ways more complicated than finding like a life partner or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or that sort of thing right um you search for years sometimes you do you search you search now there are some people who are super compatible but like one direction or another and they have an easier time um so <clears throat> but you don't get to just like do the thing right there are there are people who do like just generic free for all no strings attached scene play but if you want something more right if you want to shoot for like collared status or you want to have a, a regular sort of thing um, <clears throat> this takes bridge building, this takes work, this takes trust building exercises. So, and you have to prove yourself. Uh, curiouser and curiouser. Thanks for the follow. Um, so tonight was one of those. Um, I met up with a new Dom tonight. And I mean, I don't know how explicit you guys want me to get, um, but it went well. Um, it went really well, actually. Um, I will be going back. Um, it, it's yeah, 
I mean, I could walk you guys through step by step what happened, but long and short of it is, um, isn't that gay? Um, the long and short of it is I may have found myself a Dom. Like, proper. We clicked. Uh, we work. We work well together. Um, yeah, like, he, he mind, is this like being explained the birds and the bees? Kind of, Axel. Um, he mind fucked me good. Like, good. I was, I was freaked the fuck out. Um, in, in all of the best possible ways. Um, <sighs> he basically, um, took me for a little ride, shall we say. Didn't fuck me. Didn't fuck me. By saying took me for a little ride, what I'm implying is some basics of BDSM. <sighs> um, he basically took me out for a spin. He wanted to see if, in his own words, that, um... He said, I've had plenty of subs. He said, basically, they'll come over and he's new to town, so I got a new one. I got a fresh one, guys. I got a fresh one. Um, he said, but I've had plenty of subs in the past. They come over and they just start begging, like, fuck me, sir, fuck me. And he goes, I know they're not in it for more than that. They're in it for a lay. And he said, you were deferential. You cleaned up after yourself. You were clearly service oriented. You um, were submissive the whole way through. At no point did you try and tell me to guide this. At no point did you try and guide the scene from the bottom. I was like, yeah, like that's that's what's expected. Um, and he's like, it, it, you know, I said, so do I pass? And he said, with flying colors in my book. I'm like, yes. Um. So. He's new in town, but not new to the scene. By a long shot, Amorous. He's he's old school. He's old school. Um, so, you know, we, we sat, uh, well, he sat in a chair. I sat on the floor on a towel, naked, um, for a good portion, for maybe 45 minutes to an hour. And we talked. We got to know each other. Um, we exchanged life stories, basically. Like, who are you? What are you about? Sort of thing. Got to know each other on that level. And then eventually, we went upstairs. And uh, yes, I'm gay. How is this com complicated? I've been talking about having like BDSM sex with a dude. How is this complicated, Tidley? <laughs> How fucking drunk are you? Yes, very gay. You see the rainbow up here? You see the fucking tag on the show, LGBTQIA+. Right? Like how 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 difficult is this for you? Um Um, dumb as fuck. Yeah, I know, right, Puka? Um, so we go upstairs. <clears throat> um, and let's just say that I didn't show up to the house, um, empty. It's, uh, hey, Papa. Um, ah, fair, fair enough, Jenkins. Fair enough. Um, so I can circle on around, right? Um, so yes, I wasn't, um, empty when I showed up to the house. Um, you know, you have an outlet and you have a plug. Um, so we go up to, the, uh, but he wanted me to bring a larger one, shall we say? Um, more. <laughs> so we go upstairs, um, and he has a room. He's got a playroom. He's got, um, he's got a room dedicated to it. Um, he moved in like a month ago, and he's got the house completely like, set up at this point. Um, and he's got a room with equipment. Um, and he basically bends, hey Aspen, thanks for the follow. He bends me over to the table. 
um, and he exchanges uh, one size for a larger size. Um, upon completing that, puts me um, puts me in a chair, uh, the likes of which I haven't really seen before. It's an interesting device. Um, and basically, it you lean back. You're on a stool. You lean back on on sort of a, a, a bench sort, um, but it's it's about yay angle, right? Um, and then there's out here. There's two sort of stirrups, but not stirrups. They go under your knees. They're padded. Uh, they're padded arms that you then put your legs over um, because he wants access to the bottom of the feet too. Um, so in that chair, I spent some time blindfolded. Of course you did blindfold is it's quintessential. Um, it without the stirrups though, Axel, without the stirrups. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's literally, they, there's, it's just imagine two arms with padded rods and then your knee goes over the rod. Right. But like that, um, so blindfolded, that's when the clothespins come out. Um, about two dozen. He took it fairly easy on me. Um, but, um, nipples, abdomen, genitals um yeah if you're not if you're not 18 you're, you're not allowed to be here like just insta ban you're you're not eight if you're not 18 you should not be here and we will insta ban you um so yeah um about two dozen which is um it, you know it's it's lightweight he's got a fucking bag of them um but and then various Stroking, a little bit of mini flogging on the inner thighs, shit like that, right? Just, just getting things warmed up. Just getting things warmed up. Playing around with the equipment, as it were. Seeing how I react to stuff. It is interesting, too, by the way. If you've never engaged in something like this, um, your body has a series of, like, physiological reactions, especially when you remove a sense. Your, your sight, your body will react to stuff, um, very strongly when you can't uh, perceive it happening ahead of time, right? Like if you walked up and I saw you like flick my face, I wouldn't react, right? Like, I mean, I fucking don't do that, but like, it's not like, you know, <clears throat> but if your eyes are closed or you're blindfolded and I walk up and flick your face, you're going to like jerk your fucking head. You're going to, you know, your body will just react in that instant. And so there's all sorts of interesting physiological reactions that, that can occur in this sort of reduced sensory state. Um, <clears throat> curious here. Hey, um, it's a fu it's a late night stream, right? I mean, a D Gen story time with Kai is is tradition on this channel at this point. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, so. Yeah, he, he, he's got like a little, from what I could tell, mini flog. Um, for those of you here, um, we might as well show and tell. Um, hey, mad scientist. Thank you. Not, uh, nine fucking months. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Um, this is a flog, right? It's, it's, it's wrapped leather strands that you can fucking basically beat people with for all intents and purposes right he um he's got a mini flog um so he's like literally like sort of just along my inner thighs and shit like that and all over my body just sort of warming my senses up and getting attention and seeing what is like first session trying to explore my body figure out what the fuck i'm about right like how i react how how things happen between the two of us. And of course, he's not just all fucking beat you senseless. Like he's he's old school. He he knows his techniques. It's, you know, it's it's whip 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 and then gentle gentle fucking strokes, right? Like gentle strokes. Just and then just a little pain, pleasure. Pain, pleasure. Pain, pleasure. Pain, pleasure. Pain, pleasure, right? And you're building. You're building. That's the entire point. Is if you ramp this up in the correct manner, 
then what happens is your body adjusts. The endorphin release happens. The adrenaline release happens. And you can start to take more pain. And with more pain comes more pleasure. This is, this is, a, um, this is sort of a, a psychopharmacological cyclical process that's occurring. And if you understand it, you can manipulate it. And so that's what's occurring at this point. He's just sort of warming me up and figuring it out, right? The, the um, Figuring out what the tolerances are, right? And he, he's old school, so he uses the, the um, stoplight method. Green light, go ahead. Yellow light, whoa, slow down, homie. This is starting to hurt. And red light, we're fucking done. Right? Like that's... Good old fashioned uh, old school methodology. Forget your fucking like, you know, there's no there's no safe word here. It's just go slow down. Stop. Everybody knows it. So he's trying to figure out at that point my levels and he finally managed to get um, because I warned him ahead of time. I have a tendency to go inwardly and grin and bear things. And he said, I need you to respond. I need you to give me feedback, especially this early on. I need to understand your limits, your tolerances, so we can develop, right? So he eventually got a yellow light out of me. Um, and he was like, all right, and I was trying, right? Like trying to f- figure out where the where the line was. Um, and eventually he starts pulling clips off, which if you're not familiar, if you've never engaged in this play, Um, then having something like a, a clothespin on your nipple or on your dick, which in this instance, they were, they were all around the scrotum, all around the penis. They were, they were there. Um, when the blood flows back in, that's when you actually feel it. There's an initial like, ow, this kind of pinches. And then as time goes by, it starts to numb out a little bit or depending on the place, it can get a, it can get a little painful. It can get a little painful. But when you let go, the blood flows back in to the nerve sites, the nerve endings light up. And that's the moment that you're like, oh, oh, geez. OK. So they all start coming off um, and he says, get up, go to the other table. And it's a massage table. It's literally a massage table. Like, it, that's that's 100% what it is. Um, face down. And he gets out a paddle and a bigger flog. Um, he paddled me a little bit. Little inner thighs, bottom of the feet when I was in the chair. Not much, though. Um, on the table, though, this is when it got real. Um, this is, this is when, all right, big, all right, like boys, girls, and NB friends, right? Like put your, put your fucking big boy pants on or big girl pants or big NB pants on. This is when shit gets real. Um, you're warmed up. Time to light you up. Um, so that's when the, the real paddling and the real flogging start. Um, ass cheeks inner thighs, bottom of feet, uh, calves, like red, like to the point where you can feel the heat on the, on the flesh. <clears throat> so yeah, goes a while. He, d- he does his thing and he gets, I think he got three yellow lights out of me. I think he got three yellows out of me, um, for that. Like, and he's trying, he's trying, like he's legitimately trying to find the limit. And like, you know, it's going to get increasingly severe and it repetitive, right? Like, ow, 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 right? Like, where's your line? You have to know that for yourself. And so he got, I think, three yellows out of me during that session. And this is where shit got. It's still my head's still fucked. My head's still fucked. I, I will legitimately tell you up outright this dude fucked my head so hard. Um, I'm laying there. My ass is just red as a cherry and like on fire. My inner thighs are on fire. Um, like I'm, I'm lit up at this point. 
I feel fluid on my back. Like, I feel like liquid being drizzled on my back. My first thought is, oh my god. Like, a paddling or a flogging with fluid on you is so much worse. It is so much worse. It increases the contact area. It disperses the um, the the impact more effectively than just air. It is, um, Justin, thank you, and it is, it's adorable. I have pictures from all of it. I told him, take pictures, motherfucker. Like, he's like, really? I'm like, oh, yeah, what documented evidence of this shit? Come on, this is fucking, yeah. He's like, I will, you can watch me delete anything you tell me to delete. I'm like, yeah, keep it. I don't care. Um... <laughs> So it is, it's adorable, Justin, but thank you. Um, so I'm feeling like I'm feeling the, um, the fluid get laid on my back and I'm, I'm like, oh my God, 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 this is going to hurt. Like, this is going to hurt. Like, this is legitimately going to hurt. And he just starts stroking my back. He starts rubbing my back. He just starts massaging me. When's it coming? When when is he gonna like slap? When is he gonna flog? It's it's right around the corner. Like the the, the tension is building. It's it's coming. Like it's it's the gentle stroke and then the pain. It's the gentle stroke and then the pain. And all of a sudden he's up at my shoulders. And he's doing my neck. What's going on here? Why is this happening? This goes on for quite a while. And I'm freaking out the entire time. Because the longer it goes... The more concerned I am. And finally he chuckles. And says, I bet you didn't expect this. And I'm like, no, sir. I said, to be perfectly honest, I'm still freaking out. And he had a good laugh. He said, sometimes fucking the mind is more enjoyable than fucking the ass. So did I fuck your mind? I said, I'm still freaking out here. I still don't know what to think. He said, <laughs> he said, flip over. I'm do your other side now. He gave me a full fucking body massage. He lit me up. He fucking did all sorts of pain play. Not to a, not to Mount Everest. And then gave me a full body massage. I'm still tripping. I'm not kidding you. I've never had a dom do that. Like, I've had aftercare. Like, come here, cuddle. We'll fucking relax to get... I've never had a dom do that. Never. Like, legitimately. Like, it was... It was left field shit. He told me. He said, don't expect this every time. He said, but I thought it would be an interesting thing to do. He said <clears throat> the typical thing that he does to, to vet subs, he said, I didn't feel like doing with you. I was like, why, sir? He said, because you are already so submissive. He said, I didn't feel like I needed to do that. He said, you will be sucking this dick next time. Don't worry. Like, and he's in it for the long haul. Like 30 minute blowjobs, guys. 30 minute blowjobs minimum um but he said i felt that you didn't need to prove yourself in that way he said so i wanted to see what i could do to you we were at that point we were talking we were sitting downstairs again i'm sitting on the towel on the floor like any good sub um and he's on the furniture and i said to be perfectly honest sir i'm still freaking out like i'm still 
like I'm still a little sh sh shooken up here. Like it, it legitimately mind fucked you, mind fucked me. That is not something any sub would expect to happen. It, it, it oh yeah, Jake, yeah. Um, but yeah, like when he he took the toys to the the other to the bathroom down the hall. He said, you can, you know, you can clean your, clean your stuff up here and, you know, that sort of thing. And he looked at, like, he peeked in through the door and I was, like, wiping the, the counter down because I'd gotten, like, I'd splashed some water on his counter. And he's my dom for whether this session or in the future, right? Like, that's disrespectful. The counter wasn't messed up when I was there, uh, before I got there. And now it is. Clean it the fuck up. Um... And he, he commented on it. He said, I've had subs just leave, like, leave the place a mess. He said, you really are service oriented, aren't you? I said, yes. Like, it feels good to do this. Um, he's like, hmm, noted. Um, so, yeah, we went downstairs. We talked for a little while longer. He said, you know, it questions, anything? I'm like, yeah, photos, send them. He took some video. He took some photos, kicked them over to me. <clears throat> we talked a little more. And he said, look, you've got 48 hours to decide. He said, I'm not going to ask you right here, right now, whether you want to come back. He said, as far as I'm concerned, he says, you pass with flying colors. You're invited back. Um, and so, you know, I was like, okay. And we, we wrapped up talking um, and I left. And when I got home, I sent him a message saying, I'm coming back. He said, good, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I found myself a dom, guys. Zippy, only if you make me it feel degraded while I do it. It takes it takes a it takes a personality to make me want to clean. Um Oh, and he works in software. software developer I can't escape it I can't escape it <laughs> oh caboose weirdly wholesome right weirdly wholesome it was I walked away confused I walked away grinning like a fucking maniac I walked away happy I walked away with a nice little chemical high yeah, software and hardware. Um, little psycho, uh, psychopharmacological chemical high. Right? Like. <laughs> oh, what have I gotten myself into? <sighs> because that was just the introduction. Right? That's just the. I'll be nice to get to know you a little bit, right? It's, 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 shit's going to get real the next time I see him, right? Like, 30-minute fucking blowjob to audition that direction. Fucking, he's going to fit, he, he, he wants, he'll want to sort me out. Like, he'll want to sort me out. The next time, it'll probably be work. It'll be work. Like, numb lips, fucking just drool everywhere and god knows what will be going on down below um it's gonna be work he is gonna fucking work me over i'm gonna have to earn that massage like i'm gonna have to pay for that massage right this this massage was given on credit hundred percent this massage was given on credit i will be paying that massage back for fucking sessions i guarantee goddamn to you ah Jake. Uh, it's a good time, though. It's a good time. I got some really sexy photos out of it. Um, all right. Thus concludes D-Gen story time with Kai. I, I, ho I hope that... I hope that allows for... Um, 
<laughs> tech support. Um, oh, and he doesn't mind chemical assistance, right? Like there's some old school dudes, some of the old guard, um, basically are like, you know, poppers and fucking weed and all that sort of stuff are out. You have to do it under your own willpower. And he's, he's not like that, right? Like he's old school and he's fucking, um, he's old school and old guard trained. But he's like, yeah, I don't care about it. He's like, use it. Do whatever you... He said, whatever makes it more pleasurable for you. He said, yeah. He says, as long as you're not coming up in my house on meth or anything like that. He says, I don't care. I'm like, legitimately a rare case. Legitimately a rare case. Um, Beasticle, it's a good story too. It's a good story. Oddly wholesome for D-Gen story time. Oddly wholesome. Um, oh, Kaiser. Kaiser, get leather. Kaiser, get leather. Um, you look good. You look great in it. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, Kaiser. Kaiser, I have recommendation. Kaiser, we're going to have to have a, we'll, we'll have a chat, Kaiser. Again, I've got I, I've got some outfits probably that would did, did go down that avenue. Um, you look amazing. Um, Beastical. Basically, some moron over on somebody else's channel, Cuckoo Nut or whoever, um, was saying. Okay, so I'll just pull the fucking screenshot. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Somebody posted it. C Cupcake posted it. Here you go. Imagine thinking that monarchism can't be anarchism. So weird, man. There is objective morality in nature when ruled under rightful monarchs. Right? Uh, do you feel that all the leather in the Matrix movies were about being domed by the machines? I mean, it definitely was part of a BDSM aesthetic, for sure. Uh, Relic, for sure. It was part of a BDSM aesthetic. Um, yeah, like, it, it's... It, it was, it was, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And those, that's, those are fucking cult members over on Kukanut stream. Like they're, they're legitimately culty. And so that's, that's sort of what you're dealing with in that part of the world is people who, um, are intentionally abusing language so that people, they can't speak the same language as people outside of their cult. Voss, I had to read those twice. Yeah, honestly, I didn't. As soon as I saw it, I was like, Jesus, goddamn Christ. Yeah. Imagine thinking that monarchism can't be anarchism. So weird, man. What part of fucking no gods, no masters was confusing? Sincerely, like what? What, what part of fucking anarchos without rulers? What part of no rulers got lost in translation for you? Do you not, do you not think a king is a ruler? Like, I, I just, they're so fucking dumb. They're so fucking dumb. I'm sorry, like, y'all. I, I can't, I can't mince words on this one. I can't pretend I feel otherwise. I can't PC this one up. You have to be so fucking dumb to believe that. Oh, no, anarchism, the whole fucking no rulers thing. Yeah, that's totally compatible with kings. How? Holy shit, man. Just watching another stream. You were apparently debating with a friend of mine. Wait, hang on. I was watching another stream. You were apparently debating with a friend of the show if residential schools were a thing a while back. No. I mean, they're a thing, 
Like, I mean, it, I don't remember having to, maybe, skeptic. I mean, they're a thing. I don't know if I had to explain, like, uh, explains to somebody they were a thing. But, yeah, no, residential schools are a thing. Like, they were a thing here in the U.S. They were a thing in Canada. They were a thing in Ireland and Scotland. Oh. I, I just, yeah. I would fight for anyone that was bullied in any means. Uh, I don't know much. I'm very dumb. Jake, you ain't that dumb. You ain't that dumb, Jake. <laughs> I don't know you from Adam, Jake, but I can t I tell you right now, you can string together a sentence well enough to understand that ru King is a ruler. No rulers means no kings, right? Like, this isn't complicated. Hardly the dumbest thing his crowd believes. I mean, fair. I, you're going to have to show it to me, Skeptic, because at no point do I ever recall stating that residential schools weren't a thing. Like, that's been... I, I don't... Show, skeptic, show me what the fuck you're talking about, because they're a thing. Like, I use the Irish ones as an example all the time of the Catholic Church fucking around. Um... Uh, many, uh, many, not at the, no, no, not, no, not on mine. Luckily, thank God. <sighs> um, but yes, um, there is a person who, who, well, there's a couple of people who call themselves anarchists on this, on Twitch. One of them is a cult member, straight up fucking cult. You, uh, you will know them by their pronunciation of anarchism or anarchy. I'm not going to call them out directly, but trust me, when you hear someone say anarchy or anarchism and you it, you immediately think to yourself, why are they pronouncing it that way? Congratulations, you found the person that I'm talking about. Um, it's cult shit. It's cult shit. Um, KT. Cult dude was infuriating. Caboose, he is. Um, they want me to come into their street. Oh, Kavos, you fucking, you're you're an element of chaos. They don't know what they're what they're inviting in. Um, I I just I I couldn't like I couldn't when when Cupcake posted that screenshot of their fucking chat member saying that anarchism. And um, anarchism and monarchism are compatible. I, I was just like, oh, fuck me. Yeah, shill in his website every other fucking sentence. Guy was in intolerable. Um. I would challenge somebody to produce a clip of me saying, and my entire archive, my entire Twitch career is basically archived on YouTube, right? Produce a clip of me saying that residential schools aren't a thing. There. Uh, skeptic, I'm assuming that given the residential schools that Sue we're talking about, I don't mind saying it out loud. That's the only person that'd be bitching about residential schools. Um, oh, Justin. Justin, he's amazing. He's amazing. Justin, you owe it to yourself to have at least one conversation with him. Just one. Just one. That's, tr trust me, it's plenty. It's fucking plenty. But it's worth doing once because you're going to come out the other side going, wow. <laughs> it's like doing acid, man. It's like doing acid. Yeah. 
one was almost too many for me. Yeah, no, it's 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 a thing. It's a thing. Um, <laughs> yes, exactly, Civic. Yeah. Oh, uh, time to. Oh, no, he couldn't, dude. He fucking, he lost his shit, man. And then got bitter and started, nah. <laughs> fucking great. Um, nah, just, oh, well, I don't know. Is it? I don't fucking, I, I don't know all his takes. Um, that's, I don't know all his takes, Justin. So, but I don't think so. Oh, then no, no, not at all. It, 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 not him. No, not by a long shot. It's not Nathaniel. Uh, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, um, I mean, yeah, Ashall. I mean, don't do it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had that feeling before plenty of times, especially when you're a chronic pain sufferer. Um, so did everybody see the Boston police thing? Um, they just had to pay out $1.3 million because they arrested a, uh, a black man having a stroke. <laughs> just another one of those brilliant fucking uh, moves um, where this dude was, um, he started feeling nauseous. Um, and he, um, it, which by the way, nauseous isn't the word it's nauseated, but anyway, I uh, was feeling nauseated and realized that he needed to pull over 62 year old having a stroke on the side of mass Avenue in Boston, right? He, he pulls over and, uh, fucking Boston PD. He literally said, he said it in the interview, I was afraid. I say, well, at least if anything happens to me, somebody will find me. Well, Boston PD found him, all right. They found him slumped over in his car, barely conscious, in front of the Berkeley College of Music. Um, instead of calling an ambulance, they drug him out of his car and arrested him. They then lied in their report, saying that he smelled of alcohol, even though he's been sober since 1995. <laughs> um, yes, he, he's a black male. He's a black male. Um, and so they, um, they ended up, <clears throat> they threw him in the fucking drunk tank. They let him, uh, they let him languish there for five hours. Um, th then finally somebody called an ambulance. Um, he got to Tufts, um, police records show that medical providers there assumed he was drunk because... The cops instructed him, uh, instructed them that he was nothing more than a drunk. And so they left him in the emergency room for seven more hours. When his wife managed to finally track down her husband, uh, the do uh, she forced the doctors to confirm this and confirmed that he had no drugs or alcohol in his system. He'd had a stroke. But by then, yes. Yes, Cupcake. The damage was done. He was in the hospital for weeks. Luckily, he survived. Um, then moved to rehab, but he had to give up his job. Um, he still can't really walk correctly or enjoy a meal his balance appetite uh, attitude uh behavior um tasting food cognitive processes um as well as a whole bunch of other physical effects have all been affected as a result of lack of care um as a result of how Boston PD handled all of this the city agreed to pay out 1.3 million dollars last summer 
in the midst of racial protests surging across the city. Um, the, uh, um, the Boston PD, the city, and everybody involved, not a single apology has ever been issued. Nobody ever mea culpa whatsoever. No one has ever even hinted at even being slightly empathetic to completely ruining this man's life. Um, no officers were ever disciplined. The internal investigation wrapped up a year ago, more than a year ago. No accountability whatsoever across the board. Ah. Uh. By the way, fun fact, they never filed a lawsuit. The city cut a check for $1.3 million because they knew they were fucked. Without them even filing a lawsuit, the city's like, what'll it take? They knew they'd be fucked in a court. If they took that to court, he'd have ended up with like $12 million. They probably ended up with move the decimal place sort of situation. Yeah, they, they straight up never even filed suit. The city just was like. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guarantee. I guarantee he had to waive f further rights to, uh, to like, lawsuits or settlements. Guarantee it. It was part of the stipulation for the settlement. 100%. 100%. What he should have done, he's gotten really crafty and clever and gotten his, like, attorneys to build a loophole into the documentation and be like, yeah, yeah, no, we'll sign it. Just, uh, you know, here, you right, know. Yeah. And then f come back, you know, one year later and sue the pants off of them. It's like, you can't sue, you signed. Yeah, you should have read subsection eight contract. Like, just build it in. Like, build it in. But either way, yeah, I just figured that was a that was a great. Um. Oh, yeah, Boston is fucking notoriously racist. Notoriously racist. It's, it's super, like, they, they have segregated neighborhoods still, like, the Irish are there, the blacks are there, the Hispanics are there, the whites are there, it's, dude, it's, it's brutal in Boston. It's super fucking racist. Um, I don't know, I, I don't know that, the, Zippy, none of that is, none of that is public information, so there's no way to know. Uh, luckily, Boston cops are known as being respectful. Exactly, Corey. 100%. 100%. Um, yeah. Texas. Just saying the word. Just saying the word. Like, immediately, I'm already like, ugh. Texas. The, um... The Department of um, Family and Protective Services. <sighs> so... Department of Family, uh, Department of Family and Protective Services for Texas used to have a webpage called Gender Identity and Sexual Orientation that listed to LGBTQ youth resources, including a suicide prevention hotline and educational material. Um, Texas removed the suicide hotline number from the page because, quote, it could hurt the GOP governor's reelection chances. Quote, Greg Abbott's primary opponent 
said, It's offensive to see Greg Abbott use our tax dollars to advocate for transgender ideology because a state website linked an LGBTQ suicide hotline. Thus, it was promptly removed. His fucking opponent hit him with it. And so they pulled it. By the way, if you're wondering, because we know the, sorry, we know the piece of shit, um, a fucking Abbott, right? The other piece of shit is a guy by the name of Don Huffins, Huffins, I don't know, H-U-F-F-I-N-E-S. Um, this is Texas. These are not Texas values. These are not Republican Party values, but these are obviously Greg Abbott's values. It's offensive to see Greg Abbott use our tax dollars, tax dollars to advocate for transgender ideology. Ugh. You want to see him too? Here. Hello, patriots. Well, I've got some new news here that you need to know about. Governor Abbott's political appointees that are running the Department of Family and Protective Services have put out, and it's been on their website, some very disturbing information about our youth. They are promoting transgender sexual policies to our to Texas youth. You can go to their website, but it's gender identi- identity and sexual orientation. And let me just read this to you. They're talking about helping empower and celebrate lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, intersex, asexual, (laughs) allied. Too many quirks. That's really spot on, actually. Non-heterosexual behavior and and goes on and on. I mean, really? This is Texas. These are not Texas values. These are not Republican Party values. But these are obviously Greg Abbott's values. That's why we need a change. That's what my campaign's about. I need your help. Go to DonHuffines.com. My campaign's about leadership. Huffines. Huffines. That's his name. Huffines. Don Huffines. All right. Yeah. They pulled a suicide hotline number because his opponent hit him with it as political with uh, as a political uh, bludgeon. America balkanized, please. Um, I mean, Zartos, it's Texas, so that's just sort of like the base. That's like the lowest common denominator in Texas is homophobe. Uh... Should I, if I'm being judged on my headphones, should I bust out some studio headphones? Right? Like, do we want to use the DT770s? Or, hey, how about the $400 mic arm? Or the SM7B or the DSLR? Or, hell, while we're doing this, why not? Let's do the Procaster over there. Or the three screens or the tower that probably costs more than your fucking car. Homie. Yeah. Dartos. It's a it's a production studio arm. Right? Like, yeah, there we go. Kvass. Kvass for the win. Yeah, Kvass with the win on this one. Yeah. I love people. I love people that come in and do that shit. It's like, look, I don't want to flex. I don't want to fucking be the bougie fuck uh, in that regard. But no, Nove or Nove is Zenu. This guy got them gas station headphones. And what else does this idiot say? Um, 
Fucking looks like he's going to spend it on menthol cigarettes. Um, it's like, bitch. Like, my computer's worth more than your entire fucking house, probably. So, step back a little bit. Know your role. Stay in your lane, bitch. Um, oh, Beast, they're, they're, they're the best fucking headphones. The reproduction, let, watch him bitch out too, by the way. Watch him bitch the fuck out. So we won't be seeing any more comments from that person. Um, they're super fucking comfy and, um, they're the reproduction, the highs, the mids and the lows on those things are so amazing. When I really want to hear something proper, yeah, I throw them on. But, I mean, I'm just listening. These are just monitors, basically, right? Like, I'm listening to the mix down. I'm listening to myself. Um, that's all. Why would I want studio headphones for that or something, right? Like, that's, that's fucking pointless. And it's bad aesthetics. Like, but, hey. Um, somebody should tag that motherfucker. Send him, a, send him a whisper and be like, get back here. What's a bitch? Um, oh, yeah, skeptic for sure. Um, mini. I agree. I'm more of a Lotus person for a track day car, but, dude, you, it's difficult to go wrong with a Mini. Yeah. They're, they... You just throw them into the corner. You just throw them into the corner. It's, it's great. Old school Mini or new Mini Mini? Um, like we talking like 1960s, 1970s mini, or are we talking like new mini? Cause the new minis are pretty big actually. Um, 2015 third gen. Okay. So that's one of the bigger ones. Yeah. Like those old British 1960s, 1970s minis, dude, they're so small. They're go-karts. They're fucking go-karts. You could just, yeah, fucking, they're great. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, that's still a small car. Um, for sure. Dirt track <laughs> for the win. Um, fair. Fair. That is, that is a hundred percent fair, Mini. Like, who's got time? Who's got time? Man, those things are fucking... <laughs> they're being held together by by the gunk and, like, bailing wire and duct tape half the time. I feel you on that one. No, I've completely forgotten the Volkswagen. <laughs> yes, I remember the Volkswagen Beetle. Beetle. Um, they're good, too. Infinitely moddable. And just, just bangers of a car. You just do whatever the fuck you want with them. Off-road, beach, fucking cruising. Um... I couldn't tell you what my first PC had because, I mean, I go back, like, I've, I have, I've had computers my entire life and I'm older than you think I am. Um, that is true, Rev. That is true. But if you don't have the patience to work on them, you, Rev, enjoy working on your vehicle. So there's a difference there. But if you don't have the patience to actually do that, then, you know, it's a chore. Um. That is true, Beast. Um, I love, I love that that motherfucker. He ran, he ran. I love that shit. Fuck it. Oh, look at these cheap headphones. Hey, look at these expensive studio headphones. Whoop. Yeah, I fucking love those motherfuckers. And did he not notice the chair? Right, like, shouldn't that, shouldn't have that been the like dead giveaway? <laughs> it's fucking I don't know I don't understand these motherfuckers that judge you by your shit right like oh you you got good shit or bad shit doesn't matter like it doesn't fucking matter at the end of the day does it work does it function do you like it right does it get the job done gives a fuck um you sitting on a lawn chair right now I have a lawn chair that I sit in my garage with I have a camp chair or a camp rocking chair as well but I have a like old school fucking um like just just lawn chair that I'll sometimes like open the garage door and just sit in the afternoon sun in the lawn chair like a fucking old man. It's great. Um
Oh god. Um. Oh, Cat, did you not know that Tanky is now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Tankies have said that Tanky is a racial slur. Only point is content. Yep. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been they've been talking that shit for a while. Um. Tanky is a racial slur. Um. Hey, Rumble. I mean, Psycho. Who's got time for Who's got time for logic, man? Don't 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 bring like words and meanings and logic. What the fuck are you doing? That's what are you doing, man? Nobody's got time for that. Uh Agreed, cat. Agreed. Hey, Skoru. <laughs> Psycho, oh my bad, I forgot. Exactly, right? <laughs> Race towards state violence, maybe. Like that. Puka, it doesn't work. But that's the point. Tankies are fucking dumb as shit, man. Oh, hang on. I got fucking notices and shit. Cool. Um, uh, Civic? No. Like, unironically, no. No. Um, yeah. I mean, apparently there's some mental health issues. Uh, I have it on, uh, I have it on internet authority. Um, but I mean, Demi, like, what was it? Chicks? Is it Demi? Demi Lovato? She's out there fucking saying we shouldn't call extraterrestrials aliens because alien is an offensive term. I'm sorry, did you just woke scold me about UFOs? Sit down and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, yeah. People, but I, people in the comment chain I saw was saying, like, she's she's apparently got some issues, though. Um, but I don't fucking know. All I know is that this, this chick fucking said that we shouldn't call extraterrestrials aliens because alien is an offensive term. I, I don't... Oh, is she Demi Demi Lovato is an NB Adia? See, this is the thing. I don't pay any attention to these people, so I don't know shit about. So I'll just say them. I'm gonna say Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato. I'm just gonna the full fucking name. It's like a pimp name slick back. I'm just gonna go with Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato um is fucking dumb as sticks. That's that's what I know. Um Demi Lovato attempted to woke scold people. Over calling extraterrestrials aliens. So, yeah. There's a com there's a command for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fucking being NB or trans doesn't mean well. Technically, it's the same thing, beastical. As I understand it, as has been taught to me, and if you've got a problem with this, take it up with Kez. NB is a subset of of trans. That trans is sort of the umbrella, and then NB, Demi, all of the stuff falls under that heading. But hey, hey, this is just my understanding. It could be completely flawed. I don't know. Take it up with. Take it up with Kaz, though, if you got an issue. Um, how to run away from Turkey doesn't work. Um, Zartos, Zartos, do you need out? Zartos, is it is it like that? Do you need out? Is it getting is it getting weird? Um, just blank blank once for yes. <laughs> um. Uh, fuck it, Lefty. 
Blank. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Um, we might have to do an evac out of Turkey. Um, basically, I'm NB and I disagree, but I recognize the argument. <laughs> oh. Jesus cat. Um <laughs> terrible cat. Um if you want to discuss it at further length, um beasticle, um beast, you can talk you can take it up with Kez. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my interpretation's wrong, maybe my understanding's wrong. I don't know, but take it up with Kez. That's that's I defer. I defer on that on that count. Um Right, yep. I love that. Um I love that. A pimp named Slickback. Alright, Mr. Slickback. No, it's a pimp named Slickback. You say the whole thing every time. <laughs> oh, Cat Williams. Scorer says I'm NB and I agree with Kaz. Jesus Christ. See? 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 Uh technically, see that's the thing, is uh as like as as Demi, I fall under the like I fall under the like uh, gender fluid, technically non-binary, but presenting male, <sighs> and you know, technically, apparently, I would belong to the trans community, but I'm like, that feels wrong to fly that flag. It feels wrong. I, I don't. I could never. Like, I. I don't. I don't want to say never. Never say never, kids. Um, but that's just not my thing, right? Like, that feels like that's somebody else's turf. Um, but. Whatever. Um, Undercover trans. Yes, exactly. Does anybody remember the movie Undercover Brother? I don't think we could make that movie these days. <laughs> uh, somebody else's ch turf. School room. Um, I feel like y'all experience what it's like to be by a bit. <laughs> uh, yes, I fucking love that movie. Dude, uh, we need to watch that. We need to watch that. I, I, I love that fucking movie. Such a stand-up nerd. Yeah, of course I am, Corey. I'm fucking, dude, unabashedly, proudly a stand-up nerd. Um, no, no, Caboose. Um, no, it's Eddie Murphy, um, who is this, like, Afro fucking wearing just like jive brother from, like, the 70s style. And he gets, uh, uh, he gets... Um, he gets recruited by, um, the Brotherhood, um, a, a secret CIA-like agency, but, um, for black people to attempt to fight and overcome the man. Yes, there is an actual the man behind all of the oppression and systems of the world. And he fucking, dude, uh, Nightcat, um... Eddie Griffin. Did I not say Murphy? Did I say Murphy? I could have sworn I said Eddie Griffin. Sorry if I said Murphy. I know it's Eddie Griffin. Did I really make that slip? My bad if I did. Um. Either way, you wa uh, he walks into the fucking agency, and there's goddamn Doogie Hauser, Neil Patrick Harris, and he's like, what the fuck is with the white boy? They fucking diversity hire. <laughs> fucking diversity hire. <laughs> With the secret agency. Comprise. Oh, man. Um, yeah, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. Um, he, he goes undercover as a white man. Like, not as a white man. Like, he doesn't go white face. He just does the, like, hi, I'm a white guy fucking th shtick, right? And they, like, they basically get, like, download all of white culture into his brain. And they fucking give him a watch that squirts hot sauce. So when they're dealing with mayonnaise and shit. Oh, it's, dude, it's such a, it's such a great movie. It's so fucked, though. It's so fucked on so many counts. Um, Who's the other fucker? Who's the who's the white dude? Who's the the main protagonist for the movie? Um, also an SNL alum. Um, 
God, I don't remember his. Chris Kattan. Chris Kattan. Chris Kattan. That's, there was it. It was in there somewhere. Um, yeah, it was Chris Kattan. Um, yeah, he's, he's like the main, he's the main, uh, fucking like white antagonist and he secretly wants to be black. Like he, he literally slips all the time. Like he, he'll just, he'll just f drop into like, um, you know, uh, black slang at, at drop of hat and like, Oh, he secretly wants it so bad. Mitre. Um, how was your stream Mitre? We're just, we're just talking about an old fucking movie that we don't think could get made anymore. Um, what'd y'all get up to? Yeah, he is black Tourette's. It's glorious. It really is. It's like black Tourette's. It's fucking amazing. Dude, that movie is so fucking... It's great. It's a great movie. Uh, we should watch that sometime. Uh... Yep. Quirky Romano was his best role. <laughs> Nuarets. Um <laughs> Nuarets. Um that actually does sound solid. Um went through old jersey designs for a fantasy league and assessed rock tier lists. Uh did you, oh, I wanted to Okay, Mitre, Mitre, you can either do this on air or you can res like look, I have a quick question for you. I wanted to avail you, you uh, I wanted to ask, I wanted to utilize your musical expertise because I have a question um, and you understand my tastes well enough that I, I have a question for you. Like if you want to jump in discord or I can just like, you can just reply in chat. Just let me know. Um, or if you're busy right now, you can tell me to fuck off. It doesn't matter, Kai. You can wait another time, but I have a question for you. And I was think I was thinking about this the other uh, like the last night actually I was in the bathtub, I was like, dude, I gotta ask me Trey that. <laughs> um, cool. All right, me Trey. Um, Trop uh, Trop uh, Tropic Thunder probably wouldn't be made today, dude. That was a good movie too. That was a solid fucking movie. Um, I'm a dude planning to do things, you know, dude. Yeah, it's fucking it's great. Um, and you can, you're not allowed to say the R slur anymore. <laughs> Am I allowed to quote the movie directly? Um, no, that's fine, Mitre. It'll be a quick question. I, I don't, dude, you may be like, I don't fucking know, man. Like, and that'll be the end of it. Um, never go full TOS. Yeah, never go full. <laughs> Uh, I want that word back. I want that word back. It's got the hard R, the T, and the D, right? It, it, duh, duh, duh. It's got a wind up and a hit. It's got a wind up and a hit. It's linguistically, the mouthfeel of it is like a punch. Um, I want that word back, man. I wish we could get that one back. That's a good one. Just calling some, some dummy that. Look, I don't want to, I, I never fucking, I would never call somebody with a mental disability that. It's fucked. But one of these flat earth dummies or fucking, you can have monarchism and anarchism. Yeah, you know what? That's what that word is designed for. Right? Like that word is created for that moron. Uh, it's not even TOS mini. Like, that's the thing is it's it's technically not even TOS, but it kind of is depending on who reports it. It's so weird. It's so weird. Moron and idiot are the same thing. I don't, I don't, oh God, don't even get me started on Latin X. Um, moron and idiot are literally the same word. You People understand that, right? Right, like the dreaded R slur is the exact same thing. Like it, it is a it, it is a, a intellectual handicap tier. Moron and idiot are the same same thing, but we're totally cool to say that. I I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Some days. Um. No, no, beast. I've never, dude. I live. I am surrounded by people who speak Spanish on a daily basis. None of them have ever said the word Latinx. 
Okay, Mead, I have a question for you. Yeah, shoot, man. Why do I hate Hotel California so much? Uh, I would say... All right. For one, I reckon it takes a while to get into the chorus of that song, right? Am I imagining that wrong? It's got that, like... Uh, mid to late 70s and then the 80s is fucking terrible for it where it's got like two choruses and a bridge and shit before it hits the chorus i'm just imagining that songs like that i tell me if it isn't but also it's got these meandering like uh guitar passages that are kind of cool but a lot of the stuff i reckon you listen to just doesn't have those like harmonic guitar leads and stuff that really are just there to sound ornamental and add nothing like aesthetically or thematically to the song whereas like if you're listening to some punk song and they've got like some little i don't know eight bar passage of a power chord run would achieve what you're looking for just as well uh, it's kind of soft sounding too right like the production yeah. is really clean all uh. that sort of deal I, yeah, I just it came on like my my radio station for Apple Music. I was laying in the bathtub, and I'm like, yeah, I, immediately, like I have a reaction to it. I'm like, wait, it's been a few years since you've listened to this song. Give it a chance, right? I get like a minute and forty five in, and I'm like, I need to ask Mitre why the fuck I hate this song because <laughs> I fucking <laughs> hate this song, legitimately. Uh, like, also, like I mean. Lyric to the lyrics, but yeah, they're really corny, right? In the dark desert highway, cool windy. Ma also, maybe this this has always bothered me, as well as like the police and stuff. It's got this like really watered down Caribbean sound, <gasps> and even to the oh. point where like they're trying to import impersonate the voices and sounds corny as fuck. But maybe you're, I'm being no, no, no. You're right. Unkind. That that fucking struck a chord with me. That 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 like it's got some like pseudo fake white version of Caribbean music vibe to it as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I blame Clear Channel for radio uh, radio for playing it once <laughs> every hour on the hour. It is definitely overplayed. I think it's a mediocre song at best. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Look, I'll say I don't hate the song, but like for example, in the rock tier list, I can I got it right here on me i had i think i had them in like decent you know i i um, legitimately like that song is just like i i don't something about it and yeah so hotel california california comes on and i'm like just change that shit just change it now i do not want to yeah. listen to it um um hey well I, can i say just to uh, uh, like tag this though what do you think of um uh don henley's Boys of Summer. Oh, I, I okay. So I, I think Boys of Summer is in that category of amazing song because it's yeah. best done by other people than Don Henley. You reckon? I think there uh, have been yeah. there have been so many good remakes and covers of that song, and I I, I do agree. Yeah, like I don't think Henley's version is the best better. version. Um, oh, fair, fair. But I mean, that could be my aesthetic. Like, right? Like that song yeah, yeah. is essentially like steamed rice. Yeah, it true, goes with true. everything. It could be done uh, by a metal band, a punk band, a like a pop singer. It could it, that song fits. It's a good song. Yeah, yeah that exactly. song fits everybody's yeah. repertoire. And I think that that's the brilliance of it is that like Metallica, fucking like uh, Judas Priest. Uh, Pennywise, Anti Flag, Madonna, everybody could take a crack at Boys of Summer. And they'd all be decent in their own right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's kind of like actually why I think the song as it stands is not perfect, but like um, generic, soulless, pristine 80s production sound of that song. And like what the sh all the shit you just said there is like, yeah, it's like one of those monumental pop songs. And I reckon, like when I think of the Eagles, I think like you got Don Henley there. Who I think they kind of did better stuff on their own, you know. I, I don't know. I don't hate the Eagles, but they're definitely not a favorite. Um. I don't know. Yeah. No. Um. I I legitimately think that there's 
Um, that that song in particular is basically like a blank canvas. Um, yeah. For... Uh, you want me to like my honest opinion there? And I'm sorry to cut you off, no. but the Eagles, right? They're kind of a from the start a super group, right? Of of talented session musicianists, um, uh, pro- producers, songwriters, uh, musicians, and they're kind of just thrown together, or they come together, and it's almost like uh, let's go with some cliches, right? Too many cooks spoiling the broth, too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Sorry, actually, that's pretty insensitive. That one, I don't mean to. Um, but you know what I'm saying, right? Yes. Like, yes. There's there's uh, too many managers and not enough workers. Yeah. Yeah, uh, committee. You know, a camel is a horse designed by committee. That sort of shit. Yeah, that's how I feel about the Eagles, and I think that has a lot of it. It's excessive, but yeah, definitely talented musicians and stuff. But I guess for you and what I know of your tastes generally, it's like uh, chops aren't ne- much like me as well. But chops aren't your be all and end all, right? No. So, yeah. No, I don't yeah, exactly. like. I I would. I I love like grungy, dirty punk and shit like that, where people can't sing properly, and you, there's guaranteed to be like musical problems in the background. <laughs> like somebody. Oh yeah, dude. No, <laughs> this is the sort of the Eagles are the sort of act. Much like uh, I once heard a, a, a story. I think it was Jack White from the White Stripes telling this story about how um, how different he is to say. Lindsay Cunningham of um, of Fleetwood Mac, and how so he was rec- he was recording some acoustic thing with a producer who'd worked with Fleetwood Mac, and the producer was like, "Hey, let's go back over and just take out the the um, pick scrape you had." He's like, "Why would I fucking do that? I want the pick scrape to be in there." It's like it's like oh well, when I was working with uh, Lindsay Cunningham, and you said you liked that, you were trying to do a uh, Fleetwood Mac sort of thing that he would make sure that stuff was not on there, like just hyper focus on making this stuff sound uh, pop rock perfect to, you know, for the radio and, and yeah. whatnot. And he's like, "Oh, okay, interesting." He's like, "Okay, let's do it your way." And uh, yeah, anyway, interesting. Yeah, that's. I thought that was a little interesting tidbit. Yeah, no, a lot of that makes sense. It helps clarify in my head why I despise this fucking song so much. Like, it's it's not an <laughs> active hate, but legitimately, if that song comes on, I'm going to ask somebody to change it. There's not many songs that I will be like, change the fucking song, please. On, <laughs> but uh, Hotel California is like, can we not do that? Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, well, um, I just wanted to look up the the lyrics as well because that's the thing that always I remember hit me about this song. Even when I was like a teenager and um, would like all this, I was just trying to get into this uh, classic rock stuff because I hadn't been exposed to it as a kid. My parents were quite into alternative rock and shit, you know? <laughs> so I, my rebellion was liking the Beatles and Led Zeppelin and shit, you know? <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, I, I'm... but even when I like that was the case, right? On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of kalitas rising up through the air. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim. I had to stop for the night. It's just like corny. I'm sorry, you were um, saying? Well, I just <laughs> do. Do you know what kalitas is even? No, not at all. It's it's basically slang. It means it direct translation means little buds. It means weed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the warm yeah. smell of weed rising up through the air is basically the lyric. Um, but yeah, most people don't know like Spanish, like you know, uh, Latin American slang uh, around the rest of the world. In but I mean, yeah, think about a song comes on right, and maybe maybe this isn't, but like, isn't it a bit cloying or trying to be a bit too cool to be like? In the dark desert highway, I smell that cannabis smoke. It's like, uh, <laughs> maybe I'm being unfair. Yeah, no, maybe no, C- Civic, Civic literally said, this songwriting is as bad as Gene Simmons is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm not following chat there. <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing. Fuck Gene Simmons. Um, But yeah, no, I, I like in a world where I have like Rush, Right. Like this, yeah, yeah. this is like, okay, Neil Pert written lyrics versus whoever the fuck wrote this shit. Um, Joe Walsh, maybe. Let me check. 
it, it, who the fuck wrote Hotel California? Um, it just feels like Only, it, it just them, feels sorry, like sorry. they're trying to like bite off prog rock's lyrics, like because they're trying to tell a story, right? Like it's classic storytelling, yeah. like music, but it just that cloying fucking guitar. That I, I just oh fucking it just everything about this song rubs me the wrong way in in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, I gotta say, there's one lyric that redeems it though. Looking over it. And uh, get ready for the nices in chat. It's when it goes, he said, we haven't had that spirit here since 1969. But yes, uh, um, dude, curious or Getty Lee's voice is, is like part of what makes Rush Rush for me. See, this is the, <laughs> this is the thing is I like this is how Mitre understands like my vibe for music. And that's why I consult like he and Curio both. Understand. Although Rush is not sorry to. To Rush is one of those ones I would say it's not so much an outlier because I know with the electronic music you've mainly sent me and stuff, it is quite ornate and um, like progressive mm-hmm. in that way. But the rock is anything but. So it's funny that Rush is kind of like uh, like a happy medium, so to speak. I like I like I like, I like prog rock. Like I, I like yeah, uh, yeah, there and you go. like we talked about one night we were trying to classify Pink Floyd and we agreed we landed on that the lyric the lyric and album layout is prog, whereas the music uh, design is psychedelic rock. Yeah, um, that's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. And so, like, I I like storytellers. I like a an al- a concept album. I like that, you yeah. know, I like somebody who, who goes like, you know, look, you can't listen to one, one track on this. Sure. It may sound good on its own, but you have to like, just sit down and listen to the whole album because we're trying to do something here. And prog rock always yeah. does that the best in my opinion. Um, oh, it's definitely good at it for sure. Hey, Kaz. And yeah. Um, hey, do you, do you mind if, uh, I was just, <clears throat> I send you over, Oh, I ended up doing the, the tier list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, toss, you can have a look if you want. Toss it to me. Um, oh, of course, Jesus it's a very... Christ. I didn't, I, I didn't make this list, right? So there's a lot of bands on there that I just wouldn't... Anyway, but out of the bands po- that were possible, that's... Uh, okay. That's <laughs> how it went for me. All right. I, and the ones hidden there at the top is Alice Cooper and the Beatles. That's who you can't see. Okay. Yeah, I can, okay. I can make out Alice there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, so CCR made it. I'm who? Wait, yeah. whose fucking logo is this? What am I slipping on? Uh, the the swirly Which one. one. The swirly. Television. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. So yeah, okay. So yeah. we got Van Morrison. We got Black, uh, Black Sabbath. I'm I'm in on that one, dude. The Cure I've never really gotten into, and I kind of feel bad about That's it. That's fair. I get it. I get it. Um, yeah. Like I feel like I feel like I fucked up there. Um, fuck. Interesting ah, that you. It's always time, but it, it's interesting you put right. Alice Cooper in the greatest of all time. Yeah, Yeah, so uh, i got a thing about Alice Cooper, right? Like, there's a portion from about, like, oh, when does it start? About easy action through, you got, like, Killer, Billion Dollar Babies, you got Schools Out, you got fucking what? I'm missing one here that's really good. Anyway, there's a really solid um, section of albums of the original band, and, and the duo, the guitar duo in Alice Cooper is, I think, severely uh, underrated. And I, I mean, I could go on about Alice Cooper, but I think they're really, really good. So, yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just looking at your amazing category here. Um, oh. I agree with about like half of them. I only disagree with one of them, and it's just it's. Just it's, tell me, and and by the way, I'm here to uh, if you'd like to question me on any of them, I, I will defend. Um, uh, fucking Metallica. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh, you know what is funny about? Oh, sorry. You go first. It's just. It's just. I hate Lars. I fucking hate Lars. Oh yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit. So actually, I had to be sort of talked down from putting Alica in the S tier there. Um, but okay. So this is ultimately what it came down to: is that Metallica, much like The Simpsons, has, although at one point had a had a peak that is perhaps the best of their particular thing, put out and more shit than they did good and they've been bad for longer than they've been good and they released Sananga so you can't have some and a band that released an album like Sananga cannot be in the greatest of all time interesting I, I I, I'm inter- I'm fascinated that you put the Beach Boys up as high as you did 
I love the fucking Beach Boys, yeah. That's that's yeah. interesting to me. Um, just a little insight into you on that one and Elton. I mean, I agree with Elton, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's interesting. Bowie and Elton made the same level. Um, I ooh, I dude, I would be tempted to put Bowie higher than Elton. Um, I oh no, so they're not okay. So I was um, uh, they they're in the tiers they're rated within the tiers. I haven't rated them. You know what I mean. So they're not in order necessarily, just by tier. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's not like I could go in exact order, but that's yeah, no. Uh, the not bir- for this. the birds. Okay, interesting. Love the birds, yeah. Um, I I would probably oh, I'd probably move Pink Floyd up, uh, for myself. Um, oh, yeah, that's fair, mate. It's just like just not for me, but like they're as you can see, amazing yeah. is a cut above, real cut above. Wow. So if you if you. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry. Oh, you got fucking, you got a controversial one here, at least, for a lot of people. What do you reckon? Hendrix down at Great. Yeah, so, uh, if I make my case about why he's there, uh, this is mainly uh, most, okay, so there's a few things that I consider in some sort of, like, intersecting blob of, of considerations. And that's, uh, most of all, is their musical output as I like it. And there's... Um, also coming into consideration is sort of cultural importance and stuff like that, yep. which he, of course, is huge, right? Um, and then uh, I don't know what the last one was, but it's the vibe. <laughs> uh, but Jimi Hendrix, though amazing and a, a amazing guitarist, talented, I should stop saying amazing, his musical output, he's got a few real good cuts. But, amazing! Um, I just don't think his recorded music is... As good as a lot of these other bands. Fair enough. Um, interesting. Okay, so just as a child of the '90s, I have to take exception with Nirvana being as low as it is. Um, but <laughs> that's all right. That's um, all right. I'm I'm fascinated that Zappa's down here as well. Yeah. Okay. So is that uh, you might notice you love prog rock. I'm I'm I do like some of it, but you'll notice a lot of the. I mean, King Crimson's and Zappa is the proggiest. Uh, sort of yeah here, right? I, I the, am noticing a pattern top. here as I scroll down and and yeah and I'm I'm going to punch you in the arm when I come to Australia just on the fact that rush is down at good um and the good f- means good is good though so the good fact means that I will go out of my way to listen to them. no the fact that rush yeah. is in the same category as you two is a problem <laughs> <laughs> hey uh, as I said they're not these aren't, they're in the same ballpark. Um, oh, Will Ex- Rush is better. Don't get me wrong. Rush is a better band than you two. I'm not saying enough. Uh, Will Alexander uh, Benefy uh, always does these like weird ass fucking um, just, just creative writing exercises, let's call them. Um, the new revised 2021 edition of Phytochemical Content and Medicinal Properties of Onions and Garlic by Howard Borshin is finally available. The most extensive deep dive into onions and garlic and their health bene- uh, health effects you will find anywhere. No doubt about that, mate. Go get your copy now, brother. Um, that's completely made up, just so you know. <laughs> like that's just, that's just what that's just that's just what Will Alexander does. Um, and thank you for okay, the they, thank you for the biddies, Will Alexander. Um, so, all oh, right. Oh, may I interject here? Oh, you might have had. Sorry, but uh, actually, say what you said first, and I'll. Oh, I was just gonna. Yeah, I was just something. gonna scroll up and then scroll back down. Just go. You sit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof, Gazi down here. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. Uh. So, for example, there's a few here that I might like that are kind of could go up and down. For example, look at Death Grips. I have them there at good, and I think that. They could go to great. It's just that, okay, they're a band that I was exposed to a lot later in life. And it's one of those weird things where in my mind, though I think they've got... So at the bottom there, Death Grips. Like, even though I think they've got more good albums and more music, and even now with a little bit of time, cultural and musical importance than some of those in great, it's like... uh, Like, I don't know. Like, for example, I think... F Grips have made more good albums and more good music than Stone Roses, right? But I heard the Stone Roses, like, I Want to Be Adored and Fool's Gold and She Bangs the Drum and, you know, all that fucking shit when I was at such a musically impressionable age that that rationalizing still is like... So anyway, some of those, yeah. if that explains, I could go up and yeah, down. Yeah, tech, tech, tech support, I'm in that same camp. 
I I actually here's here's my take. Like just looking through this this decent section. Um, yeah. first thing that popped out was Dire Straits. I think Mark Paul Knopf- Knopfler is one of the greatest guitarists of all time, but I think the band Dire Straits... Me too! Did, but, did, did, you, you categorized Dire Straits correctly as a band. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so yeah, I... And somebody brought this up last night. I'm sorry, I forgot who it was. And I said the same thing. I'm like, uh, she said... Um, it might have been Sassy, I believe, but... Oh, no, he, he, uh, he's such a great guitarist. And I'm like, yeah, he is, but yeah. like... The That's ba- not all there is. Yeah, the band is the, the band is more than just just Novler. Um, but he yeah. is. He's and like- also, if talking about sorry to cut you off again there, mate. But like yeah. with Dire Straits, I had a few people that were questioning like Daft Punk, for example. But if you ask me, Daft Punk rocks more than like uh, Dire Straits, for example. It's just they don't use guitars; they use samplers and synthesizers. Yeah, I caught that. Anyway, that's you, I caught that as you were. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's Yardbirds down here. Decent. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are just, they've got a couple of good songs and stuff. They're important, but like, go that. listen to their output. It's, it's dated. Um, fuck it. Let's see. Motley Crue at Decent. I dropped them a little further. Limp Biscuit. I dropped them further too. I love, so Limp Biscuit is such guilty. I actually think like Nookie is a, a decent, like an actual good song. Motley Crue is a bit of fun. Oh, I yeah. know. I know a few people that would fucking lose their shit at Pearl Jam and System of a Down. <laughs> I know, I know. Pearl Jam's oh. one of those bands that definitely have that sort of cult oh. following. Fucking, eh? Yeah, like, and yes, this food down alone. Fucking, the, uh, you know, oh, let's see. What else we got? Okay. And decent still means I would listen to it. Like, you know, um, decent still means I'd go out of my way to find a few songs. Like, look, Placebo there. Placebo has a few songs that I love, but, you know, the overall, like, Nah, it's like uh, when you compare them to the bands above and stuff, I just, yeah. Somewhat, somewhat tolerable. Oh, Russell, you'll see. Um, oh. Somewhat tolerable is like, you'd rather not hear it, but if someone puts it on, you're not just like killing them about it. Okay is like, it's on the radio. <sighs> everything everything past the first two albums for Weezer is uh, <laughs> not tolerable, but all right. No, that's why. And I couldn't. I, the first two albums do not justify the other output. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, um, yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, fuck Hootie and the Blowfish. Just fuck <laughs> Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, can you send this tier list? Yeah, I mean Viva. Like this is this is just Mitre's outputted one. Do you have a link to like where the original tier oh, list yeah, is? Dude, just it's honestly right in like rock into tier list maker. I can add you a link, but it's it'll be there. It's like it says over two hundred albums from nineteen sixty to now. Um or whatever. Oh, somebody wants you to justify tool being this low. Okay, Tool is a, a really is a personal thing, and it's not like um, it really isn't an attack on the band. In fact, it is a kind of an attack. Oh, so so funny how someone asked why Tool was that low, right? Uh, <laughs> Tool is one of those things I've got a relationship with the fans as well as the or the type oh, of music either. that it is. Not to have a go at anyone that's a Tool fan, obviously. Look, I don't think the band is bad. I, it's just something that I never liked. That's it. They're talented, obviously. There's something about it that I don't really want to go into because I can't. Really. You know what I mean? Like, um, I just see. Can't here's here's the thing. It. Like, I know you'd catch a lot of shit from a lot of people about the Tool. Uh, tool being down this low, I don't disagree yeah. with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. Um, I've never managed to get into Tool either. Like, I recognize the like weird amount of talent that's going on there. They're almost too talented. Yeah, like <laughs> you know? I, 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 I understand. Like, I, I respect yeah. it. Like, I respect it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not for me. Um. Fucking, let's see. Who else is down here? Fucking red. Oh, by may I say, Chapo, uh, Chapo Bully. Yeah, Greta Van Fleet. I kind of want to put them down from somewhat tolerable, but the, I will, the reason for that one is that Greta Van Fleet, I was in a, a pub once and they were playing the album and I was very, very fucking drunk and other ways intoxicated and I could not put my finger on what Led Zeppelin song it was, and I also couldn't put my finger on why Led Zeppelin had Getty Lee singing. 
So, and I was like, oh, and it, I didn't hate it necessarily. So that's why I said somewhat tolerable. But yeah. All right. There's at least two in the don't know category that I know. So it makes me feel good. Um, yes, yes, yes. At absolute, absolute last train. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the train. Stop the fucking train. Let's go, Pat. Paul, Let's Paul, get Pat, Pat Finity. Pat Finity was you so... you contact Pat Finity oh. at some point if you... And because I want to, like, let's do a trio stream or something. Fucking, <laughs> dude, I, d- I was so happy to hear somebody. Else. Like, I, dude, that shit came out when I was in high school and everybody was raving about it. And I got the album and I listened to it and I'm like, I don't fucking get it. Like, why You're is... You're raving it? about what? Sorry, train? Yeah. I'm like, I don't... What the fuck? I don't, I don't understand why anybody thinks this shit is, <laughs> like, let good, let, let alone tolerable. Right? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> oh, and may I just address Russell quickly because Russell, you do see Godsmack there in bad, and you also see ICP, both of our bands next to each other, our beloveds. Um, oh, and also, sorry, mate, oh. Chapo Bully, you do. I'll let Kai explain this to you because it's his show, and I feel like I'm talking to everyone. That's but fine. What's train, dude? Have you ever been to a shopping center, a supermarket, a gym? Take it away. <laughs> this fucking song. Do you know the one five four? Oh. Do you know the one five four? Hey, sister, so sister. Oh my god, this fucking song. This fucking song. So if you guys don't know, on the radio. If you don't know who, if you don't know who Pat Finnerty is, look him up on YouTube. Um, why this song sucks or what, what was the, what's the fucking, what's the shtick? Why is it, why is this song bad or something like that? Um, oh, well, I mean, this, oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, why does, so why does this song stink? And it's a yes. takeoff on Beato's, yeah. why does this song rule or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, sorry, what makes this song stink? What yeah. makes this song stink? stink. Yeah. Um, it is, it is absolutely, he does like 45 minutes on this fucking song. <laughs> It's amazing, and this song is garbage. Um, and the band is garbage. Um, and yeah. just and yeah, Pat Monahan's the singer, right? Uh, Boy Mince Mini, he is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait, Hoobastank. Oh, actually, like a Hoobastank needs to go in the garbage. Um, they used to. Um, they used to play. Uh, they they used to work at the boys. Uh, um, the boys and girls clubs, and the one of the um, branch managers used to be uh, that was like because I was regional. One of the branch managers, I'm talking to him. He's like, yeah, oh yeah, fucking Hoobastank. Yeah, no, those boys used to like work for me <laughs> at my club. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see, Five Finger Death Punch is hilarious down there too. Um, <laughs> oh, I, may I have a look at? Sorry, the bad because I want to see if there's oh, okay. There are a couple here that I think I. It's personally I've been harsh <laughs> to, but if I may just say to people that might enjoy the music why it's like could not be bad um i think tenacious d doesn't belong in bad it's that i think that's somewhat tolerable for me i shouldn't have put it in bad yeah that was that Um, was the one that made me just breathe in was fucking tenacious d i was like that's not bad it's just yeah i know i sort of was just when i was doing it i wasn't really so i only really know one that the tribute song right but and when i was thinking about it that's not a bad song. It's just, it's it's just it's like, a gimmick. I don't know. It's a fucking so, gimmick. Yeah, um, yeah. So, but they don't belong there. I would put them up one. Poison. Uh, I would also put up one. Um, but I also am not. I'm also fine with them being bad. Here's here's um, my okay. So this is Papa Roach firmly belongs in this category, but I they are last resort. Dude, that's high school for me. It's like a good I can song. I can I know. I, a, that yeah, album yeah. fucking you know cranked on the fucking like on the stereo driving around with your buds on in the fucking in summer like just searching fucking liquor or drugs and fucking going to the beach and it's just tied yeah. to so many emotions and memories for me that like there's yeah. no way for me to like accept that but they they don't they belong in that category. <laughs> yeah, I see that's the thing. That's why I tried to. There's a few here where I was like, so Papa Roach. Similarly, it's like I love Last Resort. I it's a tacky song, but but like overall they belong there, right? But I mean, Three Doors Down. Nobody's gonna argue they don't belong there. Fuck, go fuck yourself if you like them. No, look, I'm just joking. I like, see. This is why? I. I'm I'm in that category as well. Really? Uh, no, 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 no. I I the chat's uh, talking about Nickelback. 
yeah. I think Nickelback's just a f- hating Nickelback's just a meme. It's not. Uh, I, 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 I don't think I, they're it is, as. It is a meme, obviously. They're not as bad as people make them out to be. Yeah. They're just, um, I mean, they're, oh, yeah, they're not you know, good. No, you're right. People act, that's why I didn't put them in the absolute worst. They're not Imagine Dragons, you know? So I, I feel like Train. <laughs> um, fucking. Um, okay, Incubus is another one that I think it, uh, could be I, uh, maybe not bad. But, I vaguely uh, me, remember some... one of their songs being, like, good. Yeah, Drive or something. Like, they had a, they had a ballad that was nice. It's just actually the stuff that other people really like. They're like heavier stuff. Uh, never appealed to me. Um, oh, it's fucking pardon me that I remember. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know. Um, but, uh, cut my life into pieces. <laughs> yeah, no, Cricks. Like I hear that yeah, shit yeah. is in my. That shit is in my blood. Yeah, I know. Um, Suffocation. No breathing. But yeah, what are you gonna? Fish. Um, uh, I can understand why people would like fish, but Dave, that's for the shit's ball. not for me. You know. Um, uh, jam band stuff like that is I just don't like. I I have yeah. a buddy who is like a proper musician. Like that's I always tell the story about like when we've been hanging out for ages, and one of my buddies like, hey, you want to listen to Otis's album? I'm like, what do you mean Otis's album? He's like, yeah, yeah. He, like you know, he's a musician. I'm like, yeah, but like I thought he was just like you know everybody's a fucking musician. And he's like, he puts it on. I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's let's listen to it. And it starts playing. I'm like, oh, you mean he's like an actual musician? <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like talented and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's 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 my he's my um, token music snob. Like he he it, like if more than twelve people have listened to the band type, it's it's already pop music and he's done with it. Um, yeah, yeah. And he absolutely despises the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, talking. And this is funny. And Kez has got some stuff here which is uh, eerily similar to so. I initially had um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers at just, like, bad or, like, absolute worst. But i got to acknowledge that, like, this is just a personal thing that actually there are songs that I'll listen to that are fine. It's just whatever. And Adia loves them too. So I was, like, also, like, ah, sympathetic to that. Similarly, right, with Kev saying Evanescence should be higher Mm. on Adia's, she had Evanescence in, like, S tier, God tier, greatest of all time. I, I understand like people's personal connections, especially at the time I, that that music. I came think out. you've got them but, ranked like, correctly. <laughs> I've got to say, like, I, at least for me, um, I understand though people and people loving the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I totally get it. Um, really do. Just, I, uh, it I, just annoys I, the fuck out of me. Look, Lincoln Park can bitch about Daddy not buying them a Beamer uh, another day. Um, their their music is somewhat tolerable. I agree wholeheartedly with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but... Have good parts of songs, but I have not heard a single Linkin Park song that was good from start to finish, and I think that's kind of essential to be a good band. Um, <laughs> I yeah, right. I have a soft spot yeah. for Bon Jovi. Um, that's fair. I get it. It's yeah. just that's yeah. Like, no, I get, I, I get it too. I get it. I get yeah. it. Like it's. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking, it's sort of that like anthem rock category, right? Like it's just, mm. um, let's see who else. Like I have, oh, by the way, like One Direction being down here, it's somewhat tolerable. I don't, yeah. think, I don't think I've ever heard a One Direction song. That's good pop shit, man. And the, the people that were in, a few of them that were in that have gone off to make these kind of. Not really my thing, but I've heard a few of their uh, tracks and listened through one of the albums from, like, uh, Harry Styles, his name is. Yeah, um, I know this name. And it's, like, yeah, it's not uninteresting pop music. I'll put it that way. Um, Yeah, and, oh, who pointed out? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, somebody pointed out something that I wanted to bring up, too. Oh, no, it was Viva, because Viva wanted your, like, list, so I sent it over, and Viva said, so it, oh, seem- yeah, yeah. So it seems I, I, I seem to hang in the tolerable to bad music tier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And by the way, I usually, there's, um like, over at my channel, if you had never been there, like, I I got this thing where, I think AD, Comrade 80 has, has express it the way I like to hear it the best. And I don't know if it's just because it's flattering, but it's that like, I'm not a snob about music. I'm like a uh, uh, connoisseur, I guess, or whatever, you know? So like people's taste, it's like, I don't think I'm better than them. It's just like, um, be- uh, beast? Like, I don't think, pe- 
whatever. I have no yeah. idea, Beast, but apparently Prime Case is raiding into strippers now. Um, so... <laughs> All right. Oh, he's always done thirst raids. Anyway, none, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> is it, well, he's raided into me twice before, so was that thirst too? Um, let's, yeah, well, we'll be wearing skirts. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. Let's see. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm more interested in who... I want some more controversial ones to talk about if you, if you find any. Oh, well, by the way, may I, just before you do, just going back to the bad ones where I wanted to say, like, where I could understand justify it's uh 10 cc if so oh, okay and avenge sevenfold if so if someone wanted to say 10 cc are not terrible are not bad and are somewhat tolerable i would say you're right but because 10 cc had dreadlock holiday and i've had to endure that my whole life go fuck yourself <laughs> it's in bad and yeah that's about it. and i like jane's addiction and porno for pirates but uh person in chat sorry not a the they were not on this list. I'm sorry. I um I have I have an opinion about um disturbed. Um, you got an opinion? Is it a good one? Hey, uh. Well, see, here's here's <laughs> the, here's the thing. I think Draymond is one of the most talented vocalists working today. Having seen his Ooh. range, I've got it, a big disagree. But yeah, sorry, give it, to, given what yeah. he can do with his voice. Like yeah, I, I, I think that there's there's an insane amount of talent going on there, and you start to see it when he starts covering like Simon and Garfunkel and shit like that, right? Um, you start to see what he's actually working with. I think Disturbed as a band is whatever. <laughs> Put it. Let the burn. I think it's cringe, like cock rock down. It's I don't know. It's like. The symbol of every dumb fuck I've ever met. Like, I feel bad saying that. Yeah. Because obviously there's not... There's people in chat, that, like in my own chat, that like to like it and they're good people and stuff, but it's just something about it. It's like, all I imagine is jarheads in Iraq killing innocent people, just just like pumping that in tanks. Mitre is as much of a musical snob as I am a, a comedy or linguistic snob. Um... Yeah, uh, Demented Dave agreed on Disturbed. Uh, Beastical Heart agree. His control is fucking amazing. Yeah, seeing what he can do from like a low register up to a fairly high register for a male voice, plus his contr- uh, like his ability to u- implement gravel, um, so yeah, af- yeah. so his effectively. Is pretty cool. I'll yeah, I'll like agree that he is. Time. He's yeah. like he he's just an amazing vocalist as far as like skill and talent goes. Um, just coming from the okay, oration yeah. side of things, like I I recognize what he can do with his voice is super yes. super fucking Man. magical. Um, but, I agree. Like that is true, and this is where I'm a wanker, right? Because that oh. I think in that talent, for example, with that uh, Sound of Silence cover. Like absolutely strips that song of all of its oh. initial meaning, all its subtlety, all the like. I don't. You know what I mean? That's like one of the dangers of. I don't oh know, no! See, I think I I did di- like I disagree. I think that it's, it's yeah, the I, actual yeah, yeah. treatment that that song needed. Um, yeah, I th- yeah, I think yeah, the original yeah. treatment <laughs> treatment of those lyrics is fucking like it almost ends up. You don't like it? No, those lyrics are super dystopian, and like the original yeah. the original treatment is like folky and shit, and it's like this doesn't th- there's a there's a misalignment between the melody and the lyrics. Um, that- fair enough. Uh, well, but this is something that like we can talk about. Oh later. my god, I, I I'd heard you. I'd heard you say that before, and like I get it. It's just like one of those things. Where it was I'm like, it was Paul the, Simon. It's the, the literal opposite. Yeah, Beast. Yeah. Uh, Beast. It was Paul Simon who said that uh, he told he straight up told David um, that their their version Ow. of it was better, and it's their song now. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Well, um, you know, if if fucking Paul said that, and uh, Libra. You've been Libra. canceled, right? Yeah, yeah, Libra. <laughs> Libra. I, that's like Libra. the worst concert of all time. Libra. <laughs> Fucking Maroon 5 and Train together in concert. How <laughs> drunk were you, Libra? <laughs> oh, it was 2011. Oh, right. Fair enough. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, Kai, one sec. I just need to quickly uh, fill up some water because could I be right back and uh, yeah, yeah. have some questions about some stuff? No, dude, you're good, man. Uh, do what you got to do. Right. I'll be, I'll be. Um, fucking, let's see. This is, 
Oh man, uh, I, I'm really uh, I'm I loving I'm loving hanging out down here in the like I love that there's two bands that like I I know that me Trey's like don't know. Uh, oh three three three. Um, let's see who else. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else here that I know that. Nope. Okay, so there's three bands in the don't know category for uh, for me Trey that I know. Um, I feel good about that. Uh, Prince should be. Oh yeah, yeah. Prince is. Prince is up here at amazing. Um, curious, sir. Prince is. Prince is up here at, uh, at amazing. He's. He's got him way up here. Um. I let's see. I. I you know. <sighs> I'm okay with CCR being up here. I'm okay with Sabbath being up here. I'm okay with Stooges. I don't know enough of the cure. I never got into it. I still think it's weird. The Coopers up here, the Beatles, <sighs> hot take, hot take, hot take. Beatles are a fucking serviceable pop band. Um, I think they're like the original fucking serviceable pop band. Um, but I, I you know, beyond the psychedelic lyrics, I don't, there's not a huge a, attraction there for me. So are the Beatles the most contentious one there for you then? Sorry to cut you I, off. You know, y yeah, kind of. Like, at the very top, it kind of is. Like, I, I just, I've never gotten, <laughs> like, I totally understand and dig some of their psychedelic lyrics from, like, a druggy perspective, but as, like, musical yeah. and band sort of thing, like, they just strike me as a pop band. Fair um, enough. Um... um yeah, I'd 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 swap Bowie and the Beatles in a heartbeat. Um, uh, hell, hell, I'd swap Prince. I'd why, I'd swap but... Prince. I'd definitely swap Pink Floyd. Um, hard to not put Prince at the top. In fact, it was hard to like not. Like I said, Metallica was hard. Fuck, you know, to be honest, even a band like Gang of Four, right? If Gang of Four had more output, uh, they'd be at the top. Uh, you know what I mean, like. Uh, that's the kind of deal with a few of these bands. Neutral Milk, same deal. Anyway, but yeah. Um, I mean, Depeche Mode. I think Depeche Mode's right where it belongs. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. We just have like different... It's funny. A lot of times, if I... Sorry, Kai, with Kez is saying <laughs> music so that it takes a sus. Like uh, the ones that I've seen you pick out here, it's funny. Like there is this kind of weird inversion I find when I talk to people in this way. And that's interesting. But yeah, um, anyway, sorry. No, no, just stop apologizing, man. We're gonna fucking... Okay, <laughs> bad um, habit. <laughs> it's, you're good, man. You're good. Um, fucking like, I still find it fascinating. You got the the Beach Boys way up here. Um, so Beach Boys is mainly the they've got two particular. Okay, there's a lot. The um, sort of advances that they helped in uh, studio production in uh, honestly just songwriting and pop music as far as chord progressions and sounds go uh but also you got albums like today i think it is and like pet sounds that are just yeah really brilliant um anyway sorry yeah, tech that's... tech support um yeah they they put uh, it, well they, they meet meet put uh sabbath <laughs> at um fucking greatest of all time um, and mm -hmm. the tech supports that Black Sabbath just played jazz with electric guitars, thus inventing metal. Um, <laughs> Amaris, Amaris stands with you on this one with the, the Beach Boys thing. Um, yeah, they're really good. They're one of those ones where I get it. Like, it's really, especially the earliest stuff, even though I like it, it sounds corny. The lyrics are corny. Mike Love, the singer himself, or the main singer, is a piece of shit. But, like, so is David Bowie, to be honest. It's lo it was hard <laughs> doing this, and I... Did, went, did the whole proviso of a lot of these people, like Marilyn Manson there and stuff, right? They're like, a lot of these rock stars are pieces of shit, but like, for the sake of whatever. Yeah, anyway, so yeah. I never understood Smashing Pumpkins and Billy Corrigan can go fuck himself. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, uh, Smashing Pumpkins are... I could just, this, I've got to, so there's an album in particular, Inf, uh, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, I think it was called, that uh, my parents had the... the it was this like... Double cassette thing, really ornate packaging when I was a kid, and used to play the shit out of it. Um, and I know it's got a soft spot, and I there's a lot of things that are bad, and I can see people not liking about the Smashing Pumpkins, but or Smashing Pumpkins. Hey, and how about this take if you want, and this is for chat too. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins never really ended; they just kind of became. Or we're like reborn as uh, my chemical romance. <laughs> yeah, you feel about that? 
Um, no, I didn't. Yeah. I don't think I saw Sublime on this list. Um, They're not on there. Beast. I would put Sublime in decent. Um, yeah. Let's see. And it, may I answer some questions that people are asking yeah, yeah. in chat? Yes. Uh, so, Boy Meets Mini, thoughts on Clapton? Clapton is one of those people who's a piece of shit. Oh, uh, he's I think so guitarist, terrible. He's good. But, sorry? I just, he's so oh, terrible. What? He's such yeah, a terrible yeah, yeah. human being. <laughs> and uh, as a guitarist, he's good, but I completely uh, overrated. Uh, and Cream, it, you are, I would say, like, Derek, I guess late, the Derek and the Dominoes Layla would be my favorite thing, but Cream has some cool shit. Uh, I don't love them, but I like them, and they're they're there somewhere in good, maybe, maybe in decent. I don't know, probably Dude, good. Here's 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 um, my take as a like non musician, but I like I do I do like guitarists. Um, like yeah. Clapton couldn't string Knopfler's guitar for him. Like, uh, yeah, I agree. Like, uh, Knopfler's uh, a far more dynamic and interesting. Pl- yeah, he's a better player. <laughs> yeah, he's I a agree. he's a better player across the board. Everybody fucking like stands Clapton all the time, and it's like you know what? He's not that great. He's not good. Sorry. Like, and he's not a good songwriter. Like, no. he's. N- I don't think Eric Clapton. Ha- I guess. I guess besides Layla there, but I don't know how much he wrote it. I'd have to look at liner notes and stuff. That's the only good song I can think of. And then look at him without the band, and he does the boring. A uh, middle of the road acoustic cover that is boring. <laughs> yeah, I, I 100% like. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Just fine. Um, Prince Prince is amazing, but Prince as a see, I think Prince Prince falls into that Michael Jackson territory. Yes, they're an, they're amazing musicians in their own right, but it, it's about more than that with Prince and like Michael Jackson. It, it's it's the entertainer. Right. Like they are the Prince was a thing. Prince was an experience. Um, and so it was more than just yeah. the music that makes Prince Prince. And so if we're ranking them based on just music, like, you know, as like bands, as musicians, like Prince is amazing, but not like God tier. Um, but if we're talking, oh, it's, he kind of almost is though. Like I do, I see what you're saying. And yeah. Like that's the same thing with Michael Jackson. Right. Is that like, only were they the peak spectacle, but they almost both of them were the peak musicians and songwriters in their field. I think I think uh, so, I think MJ yeah. kicks Prince. Um just after mm-hmm. having listened to and witnessed that um that court case, uh, the the recording of Michael um doing testimony of how he constructs songs and he like live breaks yep. down in court testimony exactly oh, how he creates songs and you're like holy shit man this is the work of a genius yes but hey his songs are like these um what do you call it like irresistible dance swing and tunes yeah. that uh but prince is so diff- prince's songs are like so bare and he just, I don't know, I can't think of a, another recording artist in the same style that did so much with so little instrumentation, and the songs are so fucking sexy. Michael Jackson's songs ain't sexy, you know? I mean, we, we literally, songs dude, we did, a, we did a, we did a fucking, uh, we did a movie night one time, and we watched Purple Rain. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, legitimate, oh, my God. oh, it got, it got, it got a little dirty in the fucking chat where like, dude, I'm sorry. Like it, how do you, how do you watch, how do you bear witness to the magnificence that is Prince and not just like yeah. completely cream your fucking pants, dude, <laughs> Prince, Prince is sex walking, right? Like that's, that, yeah, that's just who Prince Those songs. Was. Yeah. Are, are so much, uh, funkier, like literally yeah. f- funk than, than Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is like disco. It's like great stuff, but it did. It got religious as well, Rev. Yeah. We 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 did our largest <laughs> uh, ordination drive during it. Um, yep. Oh, nice. Uh, we've got thirty ordained ministers in community. We're constantly trying to get <laughs> That's more. Funny man. Yeah, fuck it. It's a grift. We're running it. Um, fucking. All right. So let's see who else is on here. Um, that pops out of me. A blur popped out of me as well. Um, the in which way. Um, the correct application of song 11 in a music or TV soundtrack is probably one of the most critical and key things that you can learn for scoring. 
right? Okay. Like that, that fucking. Made song number two? A uh, song number two. Yeah, sorry. One. Song number two. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Um, I yeah. was like, is this a song I don't know? No, yeah, no. Don't yeah, know. song number two. Fucking, yeah, that's, that's, that is legitimately like scoring 101 class territory. Like if you, if oh, you yeah. know how to use that correctly and not overuse it or just fucking drop it in a place that it doesn't belong, that is one of the most hype bangers <laughs> of fucking all time. <laughs> like it just legitimately <laughs> will take that fucking scene up to the next level. Blur makes do, that I've kind of music. Say, I, I do love fucking Blur and it was hard. They were one of the bands that almost got at the one above. But look, just look. I can go a bit deeper into it if you want with Blur, but just have a look at the bands above. Maybe it'll make sense to you. It's just like when I saw Blur among those bands, it just didn't no, I agree. quite I agree. make sense. I agree. Like Blur... Okay, f- except for like personally, other people, someone like Animal Collective, LCD Sound System, Neutral Milk Pavement, some of the more indie type, I can understand that. But that they, those, I listened to that music at like real pivotal times in my life so yeah i'm i'm seeing but besides I'm, those i'm seeing pink floyd prince the smiths elton john the clash bowie shit like that right like yeah. it's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a different Blur's not quite there yeah that's a different <laughs> that's a different tier of music um i i agree um fuck yeah. it lemmy is a god but motorhead belongs right where it belongs um yeah yep yeah. dude i they almost didn't even get onto great i thought i was being uh quite charitable putting my head at great and i do love them don't get me wrong it kind of is um i think van halen doesn't belong at great probably don't at me you know what i kind of (laughs) that was one of the ones where uh, i think it's because scroll down i think the similar bands to van halen there i thought van halen were a step above and that's why i did it so let me look at the sort of metalish bands here yeah so like def leopard sweet anthrax Corn. I just think they're a bit like overall a step I, above, but that I, could just be I a don't, personal. Yeah, thing. I think it's I think it's a recency bias. I don't think they're a step above. I think it's just the fact that they came first. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, I I don't. Okay, I think okay. it, I it think it, it conveys it some like degree of un, quote unquote originality that isn't actually that there. That could be it. Yeah. Um, hey, for ex- actually, for example, if Corn and Marilyn Manson had put out more good albums because each have like two to three like good and then some really just not that good stuff it's... um whereas who were we just talking about um oh uh... fuck who was it i've totally lost it well it depends uh... like it, uh, but oh, oh god um who's got <laughs> Sorry, well, I, I got sidelined by is Stevie Ray oh, Vaughan right. here no i don't think Stevie nah, Ray Vaughan is here oh Van Halen that's yeah, right Van Halen it was Van Halen um, yeah, I just think they've got a bit more. I don't know. Maybe Van... Ha- Look, Van... If you don't want to put Van Halen in good, I'd be cool with that. But for me... I would I would, dr- I would, would drop them. They, they, I'm sorry. Queen next to Van Halen doesn't feel right. Mm-hmm. They kind of do in my head, but I think I'm more sympathetic to Van Halen. Maybe I'm just because I'm a guitarist. Um... Friggin' in the rhythm. Half Joy Division live right here, of course. <laughs> Queen does. Oh, I love. Uh, I I would put I would put Queen up in an amazing like Bowie, Elton, Pink Floyd, Queen. That feels right. That's fair. That is fair. It's there's something about Queen that I just. Okay, this is why. Can I say with Queen? I didn't really want to get into it, but it's not that bad or anything. It's that. It's Queen, just that Mitre hates gays. No, no, no. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. It makes it sound like I'm going to say some shit like that, eh? All right, so Queen has, I believe, besides their greatest... They, okay, they're a singles band. They don't have any, I believe, completely from start to finish masterpiece albums. David Bowie does. Who are the other ones? Like, and then when I'm talking about rock music, I think albums matter in the rock media, like the rock genre. Uh-huh. Not all genres. Like if you're talking dance music or pop, don't give a fuck. You, it's about the singles. <laughs> David yeah, David okay. Lee Roth has no talent, only cocaine. Um, <laughs> hey, well, is a talent acquiring that much? Of it, Side, it? Sidewalk so Sidewalk agrees with you that Queen doesn't have full length albums that hold up. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, for, oh my God, not uh, not all their uh, got free ticks to uh, Cheap Trick. All my friends saw ACDC at another venue. I still feel foolish. 
Oof. Dude, you didn't. I love Cheap Trick. I think I have Cheap Trick listed higher than AC or the same as hey, ACDC, but okay. I love them both, to be honest. Um, I would, yeah, yeah I'd move Queen up, I'd fucking put Metallica in the uh, the absolute worst category because that's how much I yeah, well, that's, yeah, I that's hate a him. Thing. Yeah, that's um, a whole different thing. Yeah. <laughs> I will. There is no amount of musical prowess that could over ever overcome my absolute hatred for him <laughs> as a human being. <laughs> Dude, I get it. I don't think the others in the band aren't much better. Or I should say James Hetfield ain't much better. <laughs> Beer good. Fucking Hetfield, I swear yeah. to God. Um, yeah, no, he's the end. Fucking big dumb jock. Metallica in bad. I don't know how to explain this to people. Look, Metallica, you're either going to get it or you're not, right? But yeah, I, whatever. Um... I, I hold it against people. I probably, you know, oh god, I'm I'm hemming and hawing on Black Flag a little. Um, yeah, yeah, that was one where I almost went great, but honestly, <sighs> it just doesn't feel right. They got more, they, they got more bad stuff than good. Like they got one classic album, which is very important. Some other handful of good stuff. But uh, yeah, it's more a brand and a like uh, signifier. I know of we a, like I know we talked about it already, but I need to ask again. Why did Zappa end up in great? Oh, because oh, <sighs> it's just the like um. So okay, in rock music, not all musics, but I find if something is very um not dense but uh comp compli- not complicated busy. Okay, if something is very busy. Uh, I have less tolerance for it. Only in rock, really, generally. Interesting. Or right. primarily in rock. So um, he's very busy, very talented, but also like lacks a sort of uh, f- musical or s- no, not musical. He he's got this like aesthetic uh, uh, through line, but he lacks a sonic cohesion that usually, in my head. I sort of crave or something like that. I don't know. I hope, it's hard to say. Oh God, here's here's where he's great. Though. Here's where I may lose some people or gain some people. Um, you can go ahead and drop Dylan down a tier, no problem. Oh, dude. Uh, you know what? That's not an unpopular opinion, or it wasn't over at my station. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was being bad by only having him great. No, nah, you could you apparently could, you not. Could, you could drop him to good, and you'd probably be doing him a favor. I just wouldn't be. That wouldn't be sincere to how I feel, but I understand it completely, and I don't hold. I like, yeah, overrated completely, Burger Man. But I was also. He also has those things of he gets points for cultural importance. Yeah. Uh, artistic or aesthetic importance too of like changing the certain way that uh, songs were written and also I just think he's got a few good albums I but, yeah. I never cared for him as a musician I think he's one of the best poets of his generation though cool yeah well there you go yeah I, I just the poetry like the music depends on the poet like the poetry without the music doesn't kind of work or maybe it does for you um, I don't know it doesn't work for me like just, I've it just wor- it works lyrics. better I remember as a it okay. just works better when Hendrix does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, exactly, right? Hendrix is, like, all along the Watchtower yeah. is, like, just such a fucking... Dude, people... What a great... And you'll see! Look, I have The Birds higher than Bob Dylan. So, you, like, I, The Birds are pretty much just yeah. a Bob Dylan tribute act, you know? I, like, I, yeah, um, like, I mean, that's so that's yeah. the thing. is like, if somebody else plays and sings Bob Dylan's songs... <laughs> It's 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 like god tier music, but yeah, he's it, a great songwriter. When Dylan does it, it's like, could you could you shut up and let somebody else do this, please? Because he's an amazing writer, though. That. Yeah, Sorry. Um, yeah. Last but night or whatever. Let's see, fucking interesting Slayer up there. I get it. It's just oh, it's never I been for it. me. I love it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, uh, all these metal bands, like for example, the genre bands here. Um, even though it's rock, there's some that are a bit more like sub genre, right? Like there's some metal, there's some indie. I get people being like, like Swans, right? Who the f- I'm look, I don't want to be condescending, but I don't think there's a lot of people in chat that I was surprised Swans were there, you know? <laughs> like, oh, um, yeah, like, yeah, they're on here, but where were they? Where did you have the stones? Amazing. Yeah, they're they're up here and amazing. There you go, right there. Um, mini. Yeah. Um. Like, I remember seeing the tongue. Um, 
let's see who did um oh i i have a soft spot for duran duran for some reason i don't know how the fuck i ended up oh, with yeah, a soft spot cool. for duran <laughs> you know how duran duran is that high okay so i have an objection to this to a lot of this whoever put together this right they have duran duran but i would have if a, an equivalent type of band if you want it in there i'd have fighting um the sorry fighting league the human league and i love human league right much more than duran duran but I was going to have Duran Duran less than at just a decent, but I'm just going to whisper this to you and don't tell her. Hilda Beast was in chat and she was like insistent. And I was like, look, Hilda, I'll, I'll put it there for you. Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> I here do tracks. like Duran Duran. Um, and um, yeah, Kez said hot take. The stones are overrated. I agree. They're just, yeah, they are. They're just, but, uh, they're, icon- those, they're iconic. Yeah. That's they're just they're just a they're voice of a generation. It's not our generation. Um, yeah, they're a voice of a generation, and they're iconic. And like literally, I mean, Jesus Christ, how are they not dead by now? Like, um, <laughs> they're just can't yeah. kill you so. Yeah. Um, God, fucking CKY. I remember watching CKY videos. Um, let's see. I I look. You could drop you two off this list entirely, and I'd be fine. Um, I don't mind them. I don't, but the whole everything surrounding just you, the music is they're, just baffling. They're just obnoxious. And I just think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, everything surrounding uh, like Radiohead is also baff worthy, but that's really good music. Or you know, a lot of it's pretty good. Um, yeah. fucking <laughs> yeah. All right, fucking. I got notes here. Honestly, so. Nin could be higher, but mm, I'm still comfortable having them there, seeing them among the other bands. I it's a shame Marilyn Manson turned out to be such a fucking shithead, like sexual abuser. Yeah, like that. that also affected my putting him down. There. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. that that one that one kind of killed me a little bit because he's got some really insightful interviews and takes on shit, and it's like, bro, you, it why, man, why'd you have to go and fuck all that shit up? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Fucking! I never got into Pantera. Oh, uh, Rage is all the way down here and good. Um, look, they, I don't object to anyone going above them, but uh, personally, like when a, I look, they're they're one of those ones, right, where they've got, uh, to me personally, some real like absolute bangers on a '90s playlist. If you don't have like Killing in the Name of, fuck, if you don't have Bulls and Parade or something, at least. Uh, yeah, you done fucked up. You're doing something wrong. But, like, it's just something I've never loved. I do like it, though, obviously. Uh, and they've got good albums. But, yeah. See, I'm in that camp. Like, I love my music to have a message. Like, I love punk and shit like that, right? So that yeah, that exactly. that yeah. fucking just fits me like a key. I'd, I'd move them up. I could move them up two slots, probably. And I'd be fine. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's see. If, uh, the remote. Oh, can I please say, I could spot. not believe... God's some some of the bands that are missing on here. Yet yeah, Godspeed you Black Emperor next to Flaming Lips is there. When I saw that, I was like, "Holy shit!" I mean, I like it, but like a post rock band. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to. Yeah, no. There's some really weird left field takes and like Death Grips. This like uh, contemporary like industrial rock rap thing. That's anyway. So interesting. Yeah, yeah. When you get into the decent category, there's tons of these that I don't know. Um. See, funny, I thought that most of most of the bands that were offered on this tier list were ended up being decent for me. I guess, like, most of these, for lack of a better word, like, mainstream rock bands throughout the years, I just kind of find decent. You know, they're good. But yeah, I don't know. Um, Oasis, Oasis decent? Unsubbed. Not that I subbed to you anyway. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Where does, where does Oasis go to you, uh, Burger? For you, I should say. Um, Grips are great, some sense. I was actually, some sense, I was just talking about how F Grips is like, should probably be a tier higher, but since it's so recent, it just hasn't sunk in like that in my head, you know? I, um, yeah. let's see. Um, I think, I think Oasis, are, <laughs> I think as a band, are whatever. Um, but I think as like entertainers, just for the shenanigans, that Noel and Liam have gotten up to over the years. <laughs> I love their hate for each other. I'm here for it. Fucking put those two into <laughs> put those two in a room, lock the door and film it. I I yeah. I, I absolutely adore that shit. Um no, there's no yeah. Sublime on this list. Um uh, What's the closest to Sublime? I'm trying to think. 
Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I really can't think right now who was. Um, let's see. Fucking, it would be something in the... Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, yeah, Phil Anselmo, I'm pretty sure, um, like, in the past, he might even still be a piece of fucking shit, um, and I'm, like, not saying... I'm not here fucking saying, pan, you know, go and worship Pantera. They're obviously oh, uh, you... lots of, like... F- yeah. Um, sorry. who was, um, um, fucking, uh, who did the, um... Uh... Who did the fucking song? The Shrek song that's a meme. Um, oh, Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Ma- somewhat tolerable down there. Oh, well, did you see the fucking recent video of him? Holy shit, what man. Happened? They were at some fucking wine festival in California, and he showed up and basically just, I mean, was full in the bag. Um, like, completely phoned it in, barely did a performance, and topped it off with it uh, with a Nazi salute. Oh, are you serious? Where did I put him? Can you, oh, you can't move him down. It's saved. Yeah, well, somewhat tolerable no more. Put him in the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking, yeah, they, they, it was, oh, it was like, yeah, Smash Mouth. They fucking, it was, oh, it was a thing, y'all. It was a thing. Let me, let me see if I can't find this. It's, um, I posted it the other day as like a raw video, uh, in, yeah in uh in shared content but oh that shit that shit moves um let's... hey well you know what despite all you've told me now that i'm seeing bands on the same uh sort of row as them um even with all the nazism and the trumpism and stuff still better than anything weezer's put out in 50 <laughs> dude what happened weezer um like jesus I kid, of course i kid I, you, Nazism is definitely worse than Weezer. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> 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 I suppose. Yeah. Um, oh, w- wait, no. I think I put it in memes because it was so fucking meme It was like, oh, like, just holy shit, man. Yep, here it is. All right. Um, let me let me re-download this to my fucking desktop and we'll watch it really quickly because this is this is this is eight layers of just like holy shit man what happened? <laughs> um, All right, I'm just gonna step off for a sec just to, but like be okay. I know seconds. the ethics so of watching the shit. So. All right, um, I will play it. Let's see. Let me pop fucking chat back up. Here, here you go, guys. This is this is this is rough. Just this is rough. Okay, I know the ethics of this aren't great, but I did just see Smash Mouth perform live at a local beer and wine festival. When I say this is the most chaotic show I've ever seen in my entire life, I have no words. At no point was the sound balanced. Unintelligible speech. Cat, catch that? Like I said, y'all, like I said, living his best life. (laughs) (laughs) It was rough. It was rough. Uh, Now all we need is for Pat Mana, sorry, Pat Monahan to get on that sort of binge. Oh, geez. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, just, <laughs> I saw that video. I was like, Jesus, God damn Christ, man. You got, you got, you got a guy in here as well. Have you seen, uh, uh, what's your, Addy, Addy, Addy Vinhel? Sorry, I can't really, really, uh, really despises Oasis. I ain't no Oasis stand, mate, but uh, clearly you don't like him. <laughs> Um, I, I, there's only like, dude, the only, the only group I have that kind of hate for is Metallica. (laughs) That's so funny, Metallica. Um, it's because of the Napster shit. It's because of the Napster shit. A hundred percent. 
it's hey, hundred percent. Lars did apologize for it. Way he, too late, but he has apologized. Yeah, like Lars get Lars. Well, then if Lars wants to apologize to me personally, he can give me one of his private jets, <laughs> right? Like that's that's give me a, give me one of your beach houses in a private jet, and we'll call it square, Lars. Otherwise, you can fuck off. Um. Uh. Hey, Ch- man. Yeah, I agree. If I may, Chapo over here. So that sounds great, mate. I dig that shit too, man. You're into the fucking tech is. Uh, I make uh, dance music myself if you'd like to check it out. I don't know if you have. Um, Sorry to give myself a, a shameless plug. Oh, no, no, plot. no. Fucking here. Let's shout out me, Trey. Um, fucking shout out. There we go. Do you want me to put the, the SoundCloud in? Uh, I'll put the SoundCloud in there if that's all right for, for old, yeah. old mate over here who likes his yes. side trance and high tech and stuff. By all means. Um, yeah, go go follow fucking me, Trey, people. Um, like, yeah, that's fucking, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know who they are. I don't know. Like that's, that feels right for fish to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, yeah. And ha- interesting. Look at the colors of the avatars. They're all like, I noticed this, the, the more like monochrome, the like little things get the worse I've rated them. And also yep. the more you are more likely to be lower down if you have a number in your name. So there's things to look out for. Also, just don't be trained. <laughs> <laughs> just, just it's it's safe. If you don't want to be like a garbage tier band, <laughs> don't be trained. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, of course. And also, put the in your name. The something. Look at like all a lot of the top. The, the cure. The, the Beatles. I know they're also a lot early, but yeah. Well, you know the um, but uh, like I don't know who T Rex is, by the way. <laughs> Oh, yes, you do. Uh, bang a gong, get it on. Oh, never mind, I do. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so many good songs. Mate, he, he's got, and uh, they, well, Mark Boland from the band died, uh, unfortunately, pretty early. But they've oh. got, so Electric Warrior and The Slider are absolute rock album masterpieces. Um, so, Adam, yeah. Adam in Hell, um, uh, I'll tell you the same thing Mitre told somebody else earlier when they said they don't, they've don't. they never heard Train. Yes, you have. Um, <laughs> if yeah, you've yeah, ever yeah, been yeah. to a mall or a public place somewhere <laughs> that plays music over a loudspeaker or a sound system, <laughs> trust me, you've heard Train. You just yeah. didn't pay a lick of attention to it because it's <laughs> garbage. No, Train, train are the exact embodiment of what's wrong with uh the music industry right they are a band that nobody would ever put on themselves yet somehow have had amazingly huge hits because it is just pablum in public so it gets airplay because it's inoffensive yeah um zealot hey there zealot i'm just talking to mitre we were talking to music his he uh, mitre did a huge like a here i'll fucking <laughs> scroll the whole thing right like uh, a fucking tier list here i'll zoom out so you can see it all in one um yeah. drunk moms love train yeah and we're just going through it talking and talking music because why not uh i did we did uh dgen story time with kai earlier in the stream and then mitre stopped by and we've been talking for a while uh, now, you didn't have anything you needed to do, right? Uh, I'll just got to order food soon, but I kn- I know I did get a bit. Uh, yeah, you, engaged, music. I can right. I can distract you with music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. And may I? I got a couple of things I'd like to say. First, girl, I'm just a jeepster for your love, Civic. Uh, girl, I'm just a vampire for your love. I'll have that. But also, Addy, prove it. All right, let me. Can I try this with Addy? I've got a few songs to sing for you. Um, hey, so sister, miss you gonna miss her on the radio, the stereo, the villain herself, don't you know? Some shit like that, right? And then there's also, um, there's also, uh, uh, I've got, a train moves like, oh no, that's Maroon 5. They've got Drops of Jupiter, which, um, how do, I only know, Drops of Jupiter in her hell, eh, eh, eh. I can't think of the rest of this. Song. Zealot, check your DMs on Discord. I just sent you the list as it stands as Mitre created it. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely no Nightwish. The, um, mm-hmm. And I didn't make the, like, bands. I just... Uh, you know, appropriated it from the tier maker list site. I, I, it might be interesting to put bands I like in there and see how people did it. But um, the closest to Nightwish would be either Dragon Force or Evanescence. 
uh, Def Leppard. Mm, what's similar to that sort of thing? I still, you know? I, I, don't know. I still, I want to move Fugazi up, but when I look at who's in great, it just yeah, exactly right. Yeah, you just can't. I would, I would one hundred percent move. I would move Rush all the way up to amazing. Um, yeah, that's fair. But like, yeah, um, fucking Aerosmith. I think there's like two or three songs they've ever done that I'm like, yeah, you know what? Those are good songs. Um, yeah, it's the Aerosmith's one. I get a lot of. Even from, like, my brother who was there yesterday, a lot of pushback on. But, like, I think it's because, and I don't want to be unfair to people, but they got the, like, the latter Aerosmith, which there's some good, but instead of that, like, rocks. I'm thinking, like, rocks era. Like, I'm back in the saddle again! Like, it just fucking swings like hell, and it just, I don't know. To me, it's, like, it's they did that swagger better than, like, Led Zeppelin. Anyway, but, like, that's just what I reckon. Um... <laughs> Bot like crew could be lower and I wouldn't care. Yeah, I wouldn't care. But oh, fucking... there's a few fun songs. Um <laughs> uh, fucking Tommy Lee. Um Interesting Genesis down at decent. Okay, you you love Genesis? So I don't. You're a, I don't. You're a I don't. Guy. I don't love yeah. them, but uh, there is there's some talent there, and there's some good songwriting. Oh, hundred percent. Fucking Phil I, Collins look, being able to do the like <laughs> percussion and the sing the melody at the same time is fucking mystifying to somebody like me. Um, but yeah, yeah. it kind of feels yeah, well, like they should be I, higher, but I get it. Okay, so I actually had them lower, but. My one of my brothers, who is a bit of a prog head too, not but he kind of convinced me to at least put him in decent. There's just something about okay, the songwriting, great. Uh, even the sound ambience, great. There's just something about the vibe of it all that is like not my thing. But like, it's not bad. That's why I got it in decent. I don't. Yeah. Um. I'm saying um... my best take. They are a better band than that. But Let's it's a see. Okay. <laughs> There's a generation of go. American dudes that would scream at you for Boston. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I like... I do like the, like, more than a feeling, but, like... More than a feeling! <laughs> I like love the, that song, though. The, dude, the boomers fucking love that shit. <laughs> like, what else do they have? I'm just <laughs> ignorant, I guess. Uh, you know, yeah. Um, I, I actually kind of dig the killers. Um, Me too, I do. But like, there's that's why it's okay. I, I could, know, I, but... I could put them. I could, I could easily put them in decent. Looking at who you have in yeah, decent, yeah, yeah, I could yeah. easily put them in decent. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I like, uh, I like this. There's two songs on Sam's Town I really like, and that's just like um, when, uh, when. When you were young and uh, Bones, and then I like somebody told me that's pretty. That's all right for like an electro pop song from the era, and Mr. Brightside too is good. So I don't know. Um, yeah, Third Eye Blind is semi charmed kind of life, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay. that's the only song I know. But that's how good that song is. That they get up all the way up there just for that one, one song. <laughs> One fucking song, yep. Did you, and I love that. Like, it, I love the, the the anecdote about that. That it's the, you know, uh, people like people hear that song. It is the poppiest, happiest song, and it is the <laughs> darkest goddamn song. Oh, it, yeah. it is about it's descend. The happiest song about meth addiction ever. <laughs> yeah, like legitimately, <laughs> it is the happiest yeah. song about meth addiction. Like, just life ruining meth addiction. Um, yeah, and what's the fuck? The lyric is just straight up there. It's like, put the crystal up my nose. <laughs> like, it's just like, not even hidden. It's right there. And there's a kid, and like, yeah, hey, put a crystal up my nose. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's you, it's such a brutal fucking thing. And you're just like, holy shit. Um, fucking, it, mainly because it starts off with that do, 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 do. <laughs> it yeah, sounds yeah. awesome. Like, you yeah, just. Like- you just snap and they fucking like... smiling and shit. And it's like, I'm pa- I looked it up really quickly. I'm packed and I'm holding. I'm smiling. She's yeah. living. She's golden. She lives for me. Says she lives for me. Ovation. Her own motivation comes around and she goes down on me. <laughs> like, that's the fucking opening verse. Oh my God. Like, yeah. Uh, lit- literally like the sky was gold. It was rose. I was taking sips of it through my nose. I wish I could get back there. Some boys yeah. back there smiling in the pictures you would take doing crystal meth will lift you up till you break. <laughs> <laughs> Take a sip of the nose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, like, 
it's just it's the uh, well, yeah i won't stop i won't come down <laughs> like it's it is it is the catchiest poppiest happiest <laughs> song about brutal meth addiction you will ever hear yeah. dude they did more dude they probably created more meth addicts than like <laughs> Like legitimately, like that that shit doesn't warn you off. That shit's like, dude, I want some meth now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This sounds this sounds like fucking great time. Oh, uh, <laughs> a kid, yeah. That not, yeah, no. not, not that's not one of those bittersweet time. songs that, like, if you want like uh, a, a cheat code to my heart in music, just like write a bittersweet song. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, uh, fucking Foo Fighters. <laughs> I think Everlong is a absolute, like, real sort of masterpiece of a power pop song. And they've got a few other songs that are that are good, or, like, quite quite good, but it just sounds bland to me. That's it. That's Fair okay, Burger. That's um, fucking, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I, I, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, where was it? There it uh, nope, 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 nope. Um, I think Matchbox Twenty probably deserves to be lower. <laughs> okay, so I had Matchbox Twenty until very recently. Oh, I didn't have them lower, but in my estimation, in my head, lower. Until a particular friend um, of mine, I was asking. So we we made this '90s, or she started making this '90s uh, playlist on Spotify, and then asked for some help. And I like added some shit, and anyway, she was uh, at a job DJing, and I asked like, "What was the song?" Uh, and she said, "You know, I was playing the '90s playlist all day." And I'm like, what song got most people like just fucking moist, uh, and like bootying on down? And she said, 3 a.m. by Matchbox 20." And Holy I immediately shit. just went into this like irrational rage. Like an envy that, like, of course it wasn't that bad, but it, it, my inner world was like that of all the songs, and and then I was like, okay, I gotta go listen to this, and then my first my reactionary brain is like, here's a guy who listened to one fucking REM record once, and it was it was fucking automatic for the people, and he's some rich guy that had like his parents paid for. Uh, guitar lessons and studio time and all he did was learn open chords and he's this jo- whatever and then I'm listening to the song and I'm like but fucking god damn it it's good and uh <laughs> I don't know Inter- that's kind of interesting yeah. that is that is actually um that is a thing out of in hell and fucking uh I I did not know that and I just looked it up and verified it um it is straight up true Dave Grohl fucking like spread um, HIV AIDS denial shit and literally has never rolled it back and never apologized. Like, ah, uh, well, there you go. I'm glad I've never liked him. <laughs> um, and thought his band was bland. Yeah, like HIV doesn't cause AIDS and fucking don't what like the fuck? don't use the antiretroviral drugs and fucking yeah yeah, yeah. like alternative therapies work just as well. And like, oh yeah, like straight on, full, like full on. Mm. Um, and fuck, who did sing "Brim Full of Asher"? Um, but I fucking love that song, so Yogi. But they're not on here. Yeah, like corner if, shop. That's it. Corner shop. Uh, Yogi, sorry. Anyway. Curiouser. Yeah, like if you like look up one of the major articles about it, they straight up start talking about how like Dave Grohl is like a rock's cool uncle and shit like that. That's his image. Ugh. And meanwhile, sucks, like man. straight up. Like he's he's never fucking rolled this shit back. He's never apologized like for vocally supporting a group that was deep in AIDS denial territory. Oh yeah, well then fuck Dave Grohl. I mean, there you go. And sorry to I know that you had serious stuff to say about Dave Grohl, but yeah, I yeah. really wanted to say something to Chapo Bully. Is this yeah, Chapo Bully. A hundred percent agree, dude. If Husker do in this world, which they should be, they're not. If they were here, they'd be in the top tier for me. Greatest of all time. If not amazing, but maybe greatest of all time. Yeah. Uh, Yogi, I just looked it up. That's a corner shop. That's, that's who that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, either way. Ah, fuck uh, yes, I was right. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, uh, Burger wants to know what Aussie band you'd like to see on the list. Uh, on this list, which one? So there's a... There's a few, I think... Okay, so ACDC's there. 
Personally, the go-betweens, uh, I think, should be their, their one that... Uh, let me see, who is their Australian? There's not a lot, unfortunately, but yeah. So I would say uh, the go-betweens deserve to be their uh, other bands that are not my favorite or whatever, but they deserve to be in a rock I would legitimately uh, didn't... I would say in excess. I legitimately uh, didn't know ACDC was Aussie. Oh, you, yeah. No, there you go. A, yeah, so ACDC are the... Um. Uh. So, who the fuck did I say? Go betweens. Uh. Midnight Oil should be there as important rock bands. Uh. In excess, like I said. Um. Who's uh? Ky- oh no, not Kylie Minogue. He's a rock list. <laughs> uh. Anyone that there's a big other big Australian bands. I mean, Tame and Parlors in there. They're Australian Bye, already. Sleep well. Um. Yeah. See you later, Caboose. So, uh, uh, there's some, yeah. Uh, I, I initially, uh, what I, like. I initially had a reaction to Joan, uh, Joan being down this far, but then I thought about it for a second and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> there's really not a, a breadth of work there for me to like defend. Exactly. She's great. Don't get me wrong. Like you got the runaways, which is like, in, oh, it's not a great album. You know who anything, needs to be like, on this list? that i Dude. i'm feeling like I, oh? <laughs> uh because because joan is on here if joan jet is on yeah. here fucking pat benatar needs to be on here okay um like, yeah i mean yeah same category look, well, if, of... you, if we're going like there's a look let's face it a, whoever made this is a dude it, like women are way underrepresented like yeah. almost criminally on the, i mean so but like i mean the pretenders aren't on here they should be like the pretenders would be an amazing for me you know for example um you know like x-ray Sp- oh there's not a lot of punk on here and stuff but like i mean bjork should be in here if, if we have fucking got here there but not bjork so don't get me wrong it's a very flawed list yeah there's 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 some missings here yeah um yeah. Uh, Tori Amos is a great artist. I wouldn't put her on a rock list, though, personally. We, uh, Heart is in here, McSecular. Heart is there. I did uh, I did yeah. an entire thing on fucking Enya the other night. Uh, oh, Enya's cool. I don't she... know if I'd have Enya in rock. No, she's not. She firmly doesn't yeah. belong on this list, but she is the, <laughs> one of the baddest-ass bitches walking the planet right now. Um, oh, yeah. She, like, you follow, like, what her deal is, and you're just like, holy shit, man. She has, like, full creative control, full licensing control, makes buku bucks from those fucking songs, owns a goddamn castle and, like, a manor and an estate, has an actual functioning moat, has a security team filled with spec ops, off like, former spec ops uh, soldiers, has what is listed as one of the world's most advanced security systems including government facilities in that list right like this bitch don't play fuck around and find out with Enya um if you want to like <laughs> license her song you basically have to like send a handwritten letter to a castle in the UK to get her permission like that's a real fucking thing Bo Burnham wanted to use one of her songs for his uh for his movie and you gotta he like had to like hand write a note to her to be like, hey, can I use your song, please? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah, she's Enya's a whole fucking thing. Um, yeah, yeah uh, oh, interesting. Uh, Clannad symbol uh, siblings, or however the fuck I said, yeah, no, she's she is a bad bitch. Apparently, she had some, some like security scare years ago, and she just doesn't fuck around now. Like, she's literally paying, like, she rolls deeper than the queen does right now. Um, <laughs> and she's got like a, like a, a, like a coven of cats, apparently. Like she's got like a herd oh, of cats. She's like, I got me, I got my castle, I got more money than God and I've got cats. I'm done. Yeah. I thought yeah, yeah. clan ad. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I love her. She's fucking just a badass bitch. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I think I, I either agree or don't care about a lot of the rest of these, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, fucking... I mean, I've got to be, I should be wrapping up anyway, though. I'm, like, uh, a sec anyway, uh, ramp down, because uh, the missus is probably in the other room starving. I feel bad. Oh, she's um, fine, I'm joking. <laughs> but... Oh, that fucking, yep, she's dead. She's misfits dead. are there. <laughs> Curious, I'm sorry. Danzig's not, but the misfits are there. 
Um, what is that? Who else is here that I would like maybe like to point out? I don't know. People have pointed out. Who, what? Are you looking at eels or? This one. This one. The, the weird clown looking motherfucker here. Oh, that's Captain Beefheart. Oh, fucking A. That's, uh, I'm, like, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to read it yeah. and not look at I it. Thought, thought it was funny that Captain Beefheart was there, but like not Tom Waits. Like, once again, there's a very, very confusing. Like, it, this, I mean. Hey, you're right. And, and the lack of women. I don't like, it's not even PJ Harvey or anything. Like, but, like this is like, supposed besides. to be a rock list, right? Like, Beefheart doesn't belong on that, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I mean. I, 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 it belong. I wouldn't have it there as necessarily. Like,. I can see if someone who has Rolling Stone or, I don't know, is into rock criticism or something, those, like, Trout, Mark Re Trout Mask Replica is always, like, up there near the top because it's an important album, but it's oh, a pain oh, in oh, the ass to wanna, listen to, and it doesn't want, really rock. You want to defend it? For two said Daft Punk doesn't belong, yeah, no. belong either. All right, can you please... Hey, for two is, um, is Dire Straits rock... Would you say Dire Straits is rock... Lord for twos. Would you say Bob Dylan is rock? Would you say James Taylor is rock? I just need to. Yes, can is rock. I would say. Uh, some sense, by the way, while we're doing this. In fact, I'd say it's crap rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, no. So for twos, that's what I want to know because I need to know that before I can go into defending. Like otherwise, I'll just do it without knowing that. But out of in hell. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy. Um, say to Kevin. Um, but yeah. Poggers. <laughs> Later, man. Um, <laughs> Is this the first time Addy's been in here? Sorry, I haven't been for a while. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, fucking weird. Uh, fucking for two said, I don't know half the names you cited. Um, oh, okay. Jeez, uh, I don't know what to say then. Okay, so... I'm pretty much just saying that, like, if you think about rock music as being, like, uh, a fairly part, mid to high tempo uh, music that is in 4-4 generally with the back beat on, you know, the second and the fourth beat, usually, like, prominent snare to accentuate it and stuff like that, um... And that it's to, like, be loud and, uh, you know, sort of rambunctious. Then I would say that despite Daft Punk using samplers and drum machines and synthesizers and sequences, uh, I think that they do everything that rock music does sonically, structurally and everything. They just don't use guitars or, like, live Basically. drums. Or, or, yeah, that's it. But yeah. Um, and you're welcome. Um, does aerodynamic follow four four? Beast ask. Sorry, it doesn't have to follow four four. By the way, I was just saying basic conventions, um, right? Obviously, a lot doesn't follow four four. Um, but yeah. But either way, um, yeah. So there's there's me Trey's defense of Daft Punk actually belonging on that. Look, list. I'm not saying that. But and sorry, I don't mean to. Also, I'm not saying that, like, Daft Punk... Genres are also... They bleed into each other, right? There's, like, shorthand in the end. So, when I'm thinking about Rock to it, there's also a degree of, like, big life performance. And Daft Punk, more than most of their uh, house counterparts and stuff, one, make much more um, uh, s rock song-structured songs using a lot more mid-frequencies that you usually hear in rock music and taking a lot of the deep rumble bass out. Um, and all, and they don't have the really, really long, extended, housey sort of stuff that they used to at the start. Uh, and they'd play these, like, big rock shows. And I don't know. So I wouldn't... Would I call it rock? I don't know. But does it fit in with rock? And have they played to rock crowds? Have they crossed over to rock audiences? I would say definitely. Yeah, Fair I would also say, yeah, yeah I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd argue that rock and roll stopped being a music genre and more of a vibe decades ago. Yeah, exactly. And I, to a lot of degree, I think when people say, I don't want it to be uncharitable to someone like Fratus, right? But when they say that's not rock, usually what I hear is that doesn't have prominent guitars, which I just think there's a lot of rock that doesn't have prominent guitars. It, yeah, that's kind of where I fall too, actually. is That's kind of yeah. what I hear is. The, but I mean, I stopped like 
years ago thinking about rock and roll as an actual music genre and more of a just a an aesthetic choice and a vibe yeah well honestly these days it's like well the biggest rock acts it's all like it's karaoke performances by dinosaur acts that are doing the big rounds or even selling records it's like it's what i don't know uh symphonic music orchestral music is now it's jazz club stuff it's like it's a tribute to a past relic. It's like, it's a, it's not a dead genre, but it's like a re-performance. There's nothing, there's no rock music I'm hearing right now. And please send it to me if it isn't, that isn't a performance of the past. Yeah. Uh, Bleach, well, I mean, you're sort of catching the tail end of it. This this conversation has been about uh, um, <laughs> tier, tiering and classifi- uh, classifying uh, music, rock music, and otherwise uh, has been going on for a couple hours now, actually. Um, but, yeah, uh, let's see. Hang on. Yeah. Um, fucking, well, shout out me, Trey, again here. Like, I, And, Corey, just so you know, anybody can shout out in chat. Like, that's not a big deal. Um, well, cheers, man. Um, also, if you like the you like dance music too, I'll uh, put up the thing again because that's what I've been ma- making mainly recently. But I actually did make a fucking uh, I did a cover. It, despite me being in immense back pain right now, I'm sorry I won't carry on about that. But just felt like plugging in the guitar and doing some recording today, so I did do that. That was fun. Gotta make a rock the, album soon. The biggest genre yeah. here in Italy among young people is drill. Says I mean, that's everywhere, mate. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I've, I've never. Uh, that's a new one on me. Gotta be soft with a ball. Gotta scan you with lots of salt. Gotta pull up and a fuck beat. Oh, gotta be soft with a fuck with more. The fucking beat fake with a C for more. It's something like that, you know. Oh well, that <laughs> actually sounds vaguely familiar. Um, uh, it's good stuff. It's like, uh, or at least I'm thinking of like British drill. It started off in uh, Chicago, and it migrated over to like London and all around Britain, where they sort of pioneered it to this really cool sound. Um, that's now sort of, it was really cool. It's now mainstream, you know, <laughs> so to speak. I'm just looking up some names attached to it. So like, if I've heard some of these names before, um. Well, I gave you what escape with a ball. Pop, pop, pop. It's it was so it's a derivative from grime as well, um, but they stopped using like the real squelchy bass sounds and did the whole like put in more eight oh eight stuff like you'd hear in trap, but it's got these like more complex, busy, see uh, like uh, hi hat stuff. I don't know. You can probably play some and hear it, but. Interesting. Yeah, I, I like just immediately like your your iteration of it, your embodiment of it, um, was evocative enough of what uh, <clears throat> what I've heard in the past. I was like, oh yeah, no, yeah. I, I've I've heard that. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, see, uh, you remember? So like for a long time, or still to this day, the like predominant uh, hip hop sound right now is is trap right where you got the um the accent or the clap on like the it's a generally about like uh 60 beats per minute and you can double time it or like 120 you know around that right depends on if it's half time whatever uh but it goes you know and it's like i've got to be but the but yeah. But I don't know if I'm doing this well enough. No, but you've heard I, it, right? I know that and rhythm, this, yes. Instead of the, the accent being on the, the third beat, right, it's like... It's just like more like... Uh, syncopated, so to speak. Anyway, whatever. It probably sounds like shit. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Um, yeah. Either way, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to call it an early night anyway. So we'll... Um, what I'll do is I'll uh, kick off a uh, kick off a raid here, um, and we'll we'll go visit public, um, and yeah, like I'm I'm a uh, I'm gonna get some food here and do the same yeah, thing. <laughs> um, can't find a name I like like the name. Um, thanks for the follow. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Hey, cheers for having me on too, and for uh, toler. You know, like you. This is just. 
I'll just keep talking about this shit. So, yeah, anyway, thanks. This was a good discussion. It was a good conversation, especially for a night show and fucking switching it over to just chatting and shit like that. Um, yeah. No, um, yeah. Night, everybody. Tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. Tomorrow's an afternoon show. Um, and, yeah, I, I fucking... I Normally, I'd warn you to knock off the politics and that shit like that, like leave it at the door for public, but we haven't been doing politics the entire show, so <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. Well, except for that one cop story. Um, but, yeah, public's good people. Hang out. Um, I don't know what public's playing. We'll find out here in a, here in a second together. Um, but either way, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kick off the raid in advance. I'm not going to wait for the timer. Anyway, catch you guys (laughs) later.